rogue underscore 2k3 just redeemed Pope Champ of the Day. Mine.
Morning. Morning. Hold on, I gotta throw my boy my garbage. Yeah. Thing now. There you go. Hold on. There, cleaned my desk. Morning! Crazy underscore not so for just subscribe with Prime. Let's go through 22 months. Also, good morning. Holy shit, Nox, thank you so much for the 22 months in subscribe, homie. I really appreciate all your financial support. Thank you for choosing to do another month with the Wasp. I know, I know it must be hard to admit that I may have a problem locking people in my basement and only meant letting free admission out of there if they give me five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Holy shit, it's wasp. Holy shit, it's chicken. How are you doing, homie? Um, it's the afternoon. Um, not according to me. It is going to be 11, or it is already 11. I've been locked in the basement since October 2021. <laughs> Help me. Who said that? No? No, listen, that's a really funny joke, chicken. Real funny one. You're, you're a real funny guy. What is that emote? What am I looking at? Is that a dog? Very cute dog. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, everything is set up. So let's go ahead. What kind of food they get at the basement? <laughs> Ooh! Seems like someone else is also interested in the, in the fine dining of rats and whatever roaches fall in there. Let's go! Drywall. Hello! Hello! Hi! I'm at an angle. Don't mind you. Of course not. I will not mind you at all. Sorry, I'm at an angle. Uh, roaches do be pretty tasty. Yeah! My, uh, my lovely basement dweller. Get the nice nutritional value. Of, um, the roach brick. <laughs> Chat, this soup fucking sucks. What the fuck? I made it just for you, chat. Karaoke again. What? Did the stream title not update? Fuck. If the stream title didn't update, ah, oh, god damn it. It didn't. I didn't press the word button done. Um, no, today we're not doing karaoke. We already did it Monday. If you guys want to see karaoke, it's on Monday. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Not your soup. Avi, the soup I made. <gasps> no, I'm so sorry, ladies. I'm so sorry. What is it that's wrong with your soup? Maybe we could fix it real quick with something. Maybe it doesn't have enough cheese. It didn't. It said freaky karaoke. God damn it. I thought I changed it. Um, I have to remember to press done every single time I change the stream information. And we did it on Friday. We did. We did it on Friday. We did do it on Friday. And it was very scuff. Man, I love soup. <laughs> That emote is so cursed now. You're just a really big belly. Frog blinks and scuff. They're a feature? I don't blink like a frog. Freaky wasp powers. Welcome, babe. I'm LA. I love saying your name. Cogfather, Cogfather nice to see you just again. Subscribed for seven months. HECC -E are seven months of F R E A K Y wasp. Aw, oh, close enough. I thought that TTS was going to do something funny with the, with, the, with the freaky label, but I guess not. Hold on. Let me fix my uh, Avi form because I think. Yeah, 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 things got a lot huge because of the uh, spout earlier from today, from a uh, stream on uh, Monday. So, 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 chat, how is um, how is the karaoke? How is the fun time Monday? How is a cool announcement that um, after today we will be able to play Sonic Adventure one, two, all that stuff. Can you put some volume on the mic too? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I don't know why. Um, is this better? Oh, hi, Avi. Welcome, Brush. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. Hello. Wait, why didn't the TTS riz me up when it said freaky? Are they stupid? I, I don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. This is not 
a karaoke sheet. Can you use a webcam mic? No, because my mic, my webcam isn't connected and I'm scared. I don't know how to do it just for it to be the uh, webcam mic. I don't even know if my version has the uh, mic. Now that I think about it, I think it's just uh, the camera. Um, hi, pause. Oh, I'm in a wasp nest. What if I get stung? What if you get stung and eaten and, and devoured? And, ah, my happiness is immeasurable. Wow, really, Urimani? Thank you. Uh, me, uh, I wouldn't say that for me, though. I think you can measure it by about seven. <laughs> you were awake for 41 hours? Jesus fucking Christ, brush. You're insane. If you ever fall asleep in the middle of stream, I won't get mad. Can I get thrown into the shadow realm? No, chat. We're not taking any funny requests for uh, where you guys start landing in. Anyways, are you guys excited? Today, we're going to be finishing Anthology of the Killer. Uh, we have about, I think, three chapters left because uh, the first time we stopped at four chapters and then we did like three more chapters because one of the chapters had like three s stories in them. Something like that. I'm so excited. I love this game. Me too, ladies. And I'm going to be honest, I kind of forgot to keep playing... Why am I blinking like a frog? Um, I kind of forgot that um, we didn't finish this when I was making the schedule in my head. When I was making memes this week about uh, schedule stuff. Uh, <laughs> if you guys are not in the Discord... Uh, what the fuck? Why am I not blinking good? Hold on. And my phone fell. Hold on. Uh, what's wrong today? I, 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 I never had this problem before. Why is it doing it now? V Bridger is on vacation. <laughs> My uh, model is old enough that V Bridger wasn't even invented. Why am I not blinking good? Avi Tano to 2024. <laughs> if she keeps winking with every sentence, I won't know if she's lying or not. <laughs> Oh god, that reminds me of how there's so many like um what was I gonna say? There's so many like uh stupid body language things uh on YouTube about like how to get a girl to like you with these subtle body language. First, you must make eye contact with her, and then you must blink very slowly because girls subconsciously like that. Then you have to make sure your feet are pointed towards the girl so that she knows you have her attention at all times. And it's like this is bullshit. This isn't just, just regular talking. What are you saying that's different, sir? Also, by the way, subconscious shit is so, so funny. Your ass is not singing karaoke because I didn't mean to not update the title. You just had a stream on a working day for me. Have fun, everyone. Wait, Eden, I always stream in this hour at this time at this day, Eden. Um, have a good day and I hope you get some good rest. I hope that you are able to help out lots of people today And I hope um, you don't feel too terrible today as compared to the other days The videos will be titled how to raise up a girl 101 part one God does anyone remember that one video about like uh, moist critical what he did? Uh, before his face was revealed and all that like when he reviewed one of the uh Rizzing videos Sorry how to pick up chicks videos if she's making out with you and inviting you to her house, this is a sign she might be interested in you. However, if her boyfriend Chad was also there in the room right now, this might be signs that um, she's just using you to make him jealous. I mean, did you see that Becca was comping outside? I didn't, I couldn't, but I saw little bits and pieces of it. It looked awesome. I saw her Twitter post about it, and it looked really cool. But, 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 but I want to know what her setup is. I can't wait. I, I'll probably watch the VOD tonight since it's on YouTube as well. Uh, hello, Cinnamon Farts. I've seen that suplexing someone does pretty well in a conversation. <laughs> yeah. If the person that you like is shorter than you and uh, looks about to be the weight that you were able to carry them out, then girls would love this really cool trick if you assert dominance. You just kind of hold them behind, well, hold them from behind, and then make sure you bend at the... Don't bend it with the back, bend with the knees. And then you fucking suplex them to the other side. And after their face gets smashed and they get themselves up, they'll go, wow, that was so cool and assertive. Also, I think my nose is broken. Uh, but, but I'm going to go to the hospital now, but can I have your number, please? 
bend with the bee's knees. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Cinnamon Fart's name is so fucking funny and scary. Why am I not blinking good? I need to I need to fix the tracking. That was pretty poggers. Oh god, I'm so impressed with how cool you were. Girls love it when I suplex them. It leaves them speechless. Yeah, because they don't have any more fucking teeth after hitting the hard cement. It's kind of an easy way to make them uh submissive and super in depth with hospital bills. Crashes into my crush's car and says, I kind of crush you. Oops, were those your legs? <laughs> Girls love it when you have a little bit of humor with them. Of course, always. Uh, <laughs> How did we start getting into this segment? Also, my chat is really high today. I forgot to put it back down because of my uh, segment I wanted to do, but I never went to it because I couldn't figure it out. It was just doing this shit. Hold on. Whoa! You want to do it? It's getting... And it's getting... Wormity? Whoa. Um, what's your name? Fucking potatoes. You're kind of a freak. Girls love strong and independent men. Go cave in someone's skull and show them you mean business. Yeah, if there's an alpha male trying to get at your chick, you go ahead and bend into each other's skull. Fucking get a hammer and squish that shit in. And then go, is she bothering you, queen? Shit, I got my pronouns wrong. Is he bother- Fuck, my braces! Is he bothering you, queen? Sometimes I don't realize- Oh my god, my blinking. Sometimes I don't realize how bad my um, braces uh, impact my speech until um, I start talking. Oh my god, fucking chicken redeemed, it's getting worm. Wrong one. And then ladies redeemed, it's getting worm. People truly don't know what to do with channel points. I don't know what to do with channel points, man. It's been years and I was like, I'm gonna do cool shit with my channel points so you'll be able to flip me upside down. You'll be able to twirl me around, throw shit at me, yada, yada, yada. And then I try to get actually down to how to do that shit. And for some reason, I break everything. Oh, Chicken also did a, it's getting warm redeemed. So now the sweater's back on. A hundred thousand, ban yourself. <laughs> I like the jacket. I like the jacket too. Half of them is just scams. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we need to do more uh, gambling, kings. Um, oh, well, that's fine then. I am out of... <laughs> it's okay. You can refund yourself, idiot. Duh. We like the jacket. I know. The jacket is pretty pog. Um, never mind. Well, why did you say never mind? What the fuck did you... Jackets? You can do message effects now? Wait, Urimani, that's so fucking cool! Holy fuck! Don't let NCD escape! <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Without braces, these bits will be getting done even faster and better! <laughs> oh my god! That's true. Um, once I get these braces off, it's over for you bitches. Hide your fucking girlfriends. Hide your potential crushes. Because I'm gonna be slobbered by them. Oh, yeah, you can make emotes big as well. Yeah, you can make emotes big. I know that one because people love to use them here. But I've never seen message effects before. Thank you, Unimani, for giving 20 bits for that. Also, it's only 20 bits. Whoa. Aren't you also getting your braces off in like a year or something? Yeah. Yeah. Theoretic. Mm, yeah. I should call them back. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll bring Cheddar around for the... No! No, Cheddar is so nice. Cheddar is so great. I love we love Cheddar in this community. Jesus fucking Christ! Now you thank you for the 30 bits. Drown cam. Can we re refund this man's points? Um I don't have water with me. And I'm too lazy to get water. We'll do it in the ad break, okay? I'm gonna ignore the dubious inflection in that yeah and hope for the best. B braces off soon! Yeah, braces off! What will I do once I get braces off? I'll eat chips, I'll get popcorn, I'll drink soda. I don't drink soda. Um, I'll, I'll, um, eat oranges again. Um, um, thank you for the 30 bits, Cosmic Odium. That's so cute. Um, what do people do with braces off? What do you guys do with no braces? I'll be able to floss my teeth properly. Um, I'm definitely gonna have that, like, spot. Hold on. I need to Google something to you. Yeah! Soda! <laughs> I'll be not pretending to drink and not scamming them. Has all been changed? 
<laughs> Mods, do we need fun caliber for the hydration, Nadim? Because I don't have water with me. Sometimes I pull out my molars for fun and glue them back. Ew! Are you like fucking a 55 year old man? Why do you have just removable teeth? Sorry, my microphone fell off again. My microphone setup sucks. Hold on. The removing braces white spot. So, chat, as you guys know, I work at a coffee shop. And because of that, I've been, um... What do you call them? Hold on, what do you call it? I've been, uh... Let's just say... I have been drinking some of the caffeine. And not with a sippy straw, might I add. Instead, I have, a. Uh, Hold on. What the fuck am I looking at? Also, that is my address. So I will not be showing the, uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Depressed? No, 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 no. So, my doctors warned me about this when I first got my braces. But, um, um, um... I didn't listen because I'm so cool. And I always think I'm better than doctors. God, I hate how the redeem menu doesn't show by most people. Yeah, you gotta fucking scroll through that shit. It's really annoying. Actually, you know what, mods? Refund everything. <laughs> no, don't. That's gonna break the economy. Uh, teeth yellowing? No, no, no. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what I mean. So, coffee does make your teeth yellow. However, as you guys know, I have basically protective shields called my braces under them. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, basically, have my teeth been yellowing? Maybe. Who's asking? So let me uh, draw my beautiful smile. You guys would protect the smile, right? Are these teeth better than <laughs> Jackie? hate me so much oh my god i'm just doing it so i can get the exact color scheme everywhere watch me get fucking uh what's that one condition ja jaundice me gets jaundice oh my god i'm just like on the irl now i'm all yellow okay so there's just a spot that's wider than the rest yeah basically caliber people double downing by drinking so much coffee the yellow becomes gold no not so evil. How dare you? Um, Jaundice Tron. Black and yellow teeth. No, not black and yellow teeth. That's a fucking nightmare, dude. Anyway, so here is like what, what uh, regular teeth color looks like, right? Just... Okay, that's very yellow. Okay, uh, let's not do that. Actually, no, that's perfect image for this thing. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, chat. Hold on. It's not that yellow, but you get the fucking idea. You get the idea, right? Okay, pretend these are uh, normal teeth color, right, chat? So, this was me before the braces. Um, actually, it should be more like crooked because there's a reason why I need braces. Um, but here, because I've been having my coffee job, because I've been eating a lot of chips, even though I'm not supposed to, but I haven't been drinking soda because I fucking hate soda. What ends up happening is because I have a, a spot of my braces protecting the teeth under it, what's gonna happen when I remove it because I'm an idiot is that I'm gonna end up having like a spot in the middle of my teeth that doesn't match the rest of it because I've treated my teeth with candy and soda. I mean, with candy and coffee and, and bad stuff. So this is what's gonna happen to me once they get removed. Do you guys see it? I'll bring it closer. This. This is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Cheetah teeth. No! That's so evil! Can we race toy cars on the teeth? They're not fucking called teeth headlines! You guys are so mean! No, they're not Among Us! Die! Die! <laughs> boom, boom. Just 100 bits. Nine tenths dentists agree with this diagram. Thank you! I need fast for the 100 bits! <laughs> no, don't die, don't die. Uh, but yeah. So basically, they're not gonna be this yellow, but you get the idea. My doctor was all, don't, don't you dare be drinking coffee or doing any of the things I told you not to do. And I'm like, huh, yeah, totally, doctor. I always listen to you. And I definitely floss every single time I go for my monthly visit. Beautiful. Welcome, Eaton. I'm just showing about how my teeth are gonna look like once uh, my braces are gonna get removed. Why is the middle missing? 
Um, this is like a uh, before braces, before braces, and after. Before and then after. Scuffle alert. Shiver has among us teeth. Hey, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna take out my teeth. I'm gonna upload this photo onto Twitter and be like, Yo, Among Us reference! Boop, boop. And everyone's gonna be like, Avi, what the fuck is wrong with your mouth? <laughs> eh, you should be able to get a mouth guard and some peroxide uh, gel to wear overnight. Oh shit, you're right, chat. You know, the worst thing about braces during all of, uh, after all of this is done is that once they're off, I'm gonna have to wear retainers for the rest of my life. I'm gonna have a wife and kids and still have retainers. That's a fucking nightmare. That's negative aura right there. Got the tomboy tan even on her teeth. <laughs> you guys all suck and I hate you and I will see you in hell. Wow, Abby, you got candy corn stuck in your teeth. Oh wait, those are just your teeth. How sad. How pathetic, Abby. Ha ha ha. Let's kill her. No one said that, but still. Also, thank you 30 bits for the homunculus. I said that very wrong, but that's okay. Um, before, she didn't have front teeth. After braces, she still don't got any. Those are my front teeth. Wait, are you talking about the fact that like... Hold on. Oh, shit, you're right. I, I drew three teeth. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Teeth are supposed to look like this for those of you in the audience with no teeth. There's supposed to be two that's in the middle and then the rest that follows afterwards. Maybe not like this big space like here. Do you get what, what I mean, chat? Like this. And then it kind of curves around in here. Like this is what teeth look like. There's supposed to be a like... Hold on. Because this is one thing my doctor told me was wrong. Is that my teeth... I don't know if it's the bottom or top is misaligned that one of my teeth is just in the yeah it's the bottom one so my teeth line up perfectly here and then i have a a shifted mouth no no no, no. it's not that it's shifted it's that uh it's tilted like this that it pushes the other one away this is what my uh ugly ass teeth used to look like yeah no canines! Arr! I'm so fucking alpha shot. I don't need canines because my teeth are so normal and beautiful. Any gummers in her chat? <laughs> oh my god. We're really insulting everyone today. Because of the rest of your drawing because the rest of your drawing is so accurate. Dude, I got Eden to say it was nice. For the audience with no teeth, bitches calling out the other hags. <laughs> Oh, my, my lovely gum people are beautiful, chat. She still has her baby teeth. Don't bully her too much. Dude, if I had my baby teeth, I would be so happy. Because that means I would I should have just, instead of getting braces, just fucking tie all my baby teeth to a door and yank them. And then wait for the adult teeth to grow. And then do that like 38 times because I think that's how many teeth uh, humans have. <laughs> Um, am I making sense? No. Am I being really cursed? Oh, for sure, chat. For sure. Uh, <laughs> thank you, uh, like the wind for the follow. I appreciate that a lot. One of my cousins has two sets of extra, of, uh, extra sets of permanent teeth. That's terrifying. Where do they come from? You know, it's always really weird how, like, people just have genetically fucked up teeth. It makes me feel sad. Uh, and weird. What's it like being a member of the Alphabet Mafia? What the fuck is the Alphabet Mafia? A, B, C, D, E, F, G... Sorry, sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, anyways. Uh, what was I gonna say? I'll be trying to get a tooth fairy- Just shut up! I'm not trying to be a tooth- <laughs> Wait, that'd be true though if I yank all of my teeth in the door. Uh... Then I'd be like, oh boy, I hope my tooth fairy gets it. And instead of putting it under my pillow, like normally, I I put my fucking teeth in a contraption where the where the fucking tooth fairy can get stuck in. That's really creepy, obviously. Shut up. Um, the LGBTQIA. How does it feel? Well, I think it's really cool that you put QIA in then, so you know the right acronym. Acronym. Wow, can I fucking talk okay? Can I talk normally, Avi? Um, it feels good. Wow, I feel good. -na 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 -na. That song. I love that song. They were all packed in the skull. Hyperdontia is a thing. And damn, if tooth is 
Wait, they were all packed in the skull. I forgot she has a thing, and damn if two thishies aren't glossed over so frequently as personal failings. Yeah, you know, it's true though. Like, it's not my fault that my teeth just doesn't have to be straight because because I I I don't know. It just happened. Or go to a convention and tell the people that their Oshi will never love them. Same results. <laughs> no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go um fix my phone again. My phone keeps falling off. My goodness. My goodness. I still don't know why I'm blinking like a damn frog. Um <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. Anyways, um, they were- uh oh I already read that. Um, speaking of drawing, I was actually messing with the little gremlin drawing I made of you. That is, until you went live. Then I was like, fuck this. Actual, obvious, three shenanigans. <laughs> You're like, why would I want to draw this impression of obvious a little gremlin when she acts like that? Literally, IRL. Avi on the Mr. Crocker shit! No! <laughs> Quite literally is your fault. It's your genetics. It, it, it's not like I, I can be like, oh, I'm going to activate the crooked teeth uh, genetic instead of the sexy curly hair genetic. More teeth means better chewing. Stomach does less work. Yeah, yippee, yippee. Yeah, there are some downsides to having way too many teeth, I believe. But none that I know of. That just means you can eat 10 times as many chips. As a pan person myself, I personally don't care whether you're queer, poly, trans, pansis, non binary or anything as long as you're good in bed with me. Ew, yucky! Bro, who wants you? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just think of that one image that's like, who wants me? And then everyone's like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I used to think that LGBT was a side percentage. That fucking joke from the boondocks, lettuce, gay, bacon, tomatoes. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, why is it cropped? I hate- I hate when it's cropped. Wait. Oh, it was originally- what? Why the fuck it look like that? Is that Kanye? Who wants me? Elris. Oh my god, you timed him out. <laughs> oh no! Open image a new tab. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still used to roasting people. Kanye? Don't worry about it. Kanye just texted her. <laughs> Kanye would have nothing to do with me, dude. Have you seen this image, guys? Who want me? No. <laughs> I need to make this. I need to make this for myself. I promised myself I would do this. <laughs> Who want me? No cap. Fucking no. <laughs> oh my god, it kills me! God. <laughs> Extra teeth that called wisdom teeth. Oh my god. Poor guy. Damn! God, I can't imagine <laughs> putting yourself out there. That's very brave of you, sir. Why did I call him sir? That's very brave of you to do a poll like that. My guy just got demolished. Dude, 100% is so funny. Thinking about the fucking I'm bi. Don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Damn, no one wants you for real. <laughs> exactly. It's so funny. Avi would hit over 100%. I would! I'd be like, how the fuck did this poll get tw 120%? <laughs> I'll have to go with no too. No, I'm sure he's a kind, kind person. Hold on, check. Can we do the poll right now? And then everyone put a no. Hold on, I think... Poll. Let's do a test poll. Actually, no. Let's do the real poll. Who want me? Yes? No. No one say yes, or otherwise you get- What the fuck? What do you mean a poll is already act- Okay, you know what? Chicken got there faster than I did. Okay. I'll do this. I'll draw this. No one put yes! Who fucking put yes? What's like an ugly emote I could put? Who want me? Put yes. Who did this? Who's the contrarian? Kill that guy. What? Can I change my vote? El Riz? No. Who fucking put yes? We had one joke. We had one setup. 
Who? Why is there three? Ban them. Ban them. Time them out. Don't let them vote for the next poll. There's four? Okay. Oh my god, now there's more now. You guys are not allowed to put yes. That's not even an option. How could you? I also wouldn't watch you because of the little sister energy. Yeah. Who want me? Okay, so someone get on their Photoshop real quick and then put fucking zero for yes. Hello, Jax! Look at this wasp yapping away. Who did she think she is? A streamer? I was- I had my friend over yesterday and we were drawing- uh, I was drawing together for a funny meme for a friend and she was there with me in the room and she was like watching me most of the time being like, oh this is a really cool color because I was trying to draw someone that I can't comprehend their colors of and I'm really bad at coloring so I just like fill between- try to uh, fill inside the lines. Anyways, um, I was saying I was just like, I kind of like w knowing that you're watching me and she was like, okay streamer. <laughs> I didn't mean like just being watched in general. I mean that she's watching me. I I just got this natural negative aura that she wasn't even flattered by that comment. She's just like, okay, I get it. I get it. Do you want me to fucking give you subs as well? Hi, Avi's friend. Uh, I don't think they're watching me right now. I don't think she's watching me right now. But also, back off. Rawr. Go. Rawr. Grr, meow. I don't know what sounds uh, uh, alphas make. Obvious one friend. Pog. What's your number, BBG? BBG. <laughs> Shut up. You have. You should have said yes with the straightest face ever when she did. <laughs> I should have. I should. I absolutely should have. But I was just so caught off guard by her being like, "Okay, streamer. Okay, fucking ninja." She didn't say that, but I just yeah. 69% let's go who want me there someone take a screenshot of that I'm not doing it okay so maybe fucking 4% of people still vote sorry 4 8 people what the fuck get out of here who the hell voted no brush fire you're supposed to vote no but hey at least we got 69% so I guess you guys are forgiven for voting yes <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to vote yes my goodness but why? Because we wanted to recreate this meme. Where is it? This <laughs> Don't worry. I will only want you, want you once you get chitin. Too bad for the meme. Oh, oh, do it again. <laughs> okay. Do it again. I misunderstood the insight. I wouldn't be asking on Twitch.tv who want me unironically. <laughs> um... Is this is this a fucking dating site? No, this is the game. To, this is the website to just have fun. I'm not that desperate, chat. If if the day that I date a chatter is the day that I think I should be shot. I'm not saying anything wrong with that for other streamers, but for me, that'd be pretty rough. Everyone should make fun of me if I go who want me, but unironically and go fucking. Like, bitch, go outside first before you start looking on the internet for bitches. What the fuck? I can't vote? What? Okay, no one vote yes. Don't vote yes. Look, I was mute. That's okay. McClanky Marks just cheered 15 bits. You said no. Oh, I thought you said on. Who want me on? <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, 15 bits, McClanky. Are you at work right now? But what if... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless slash actually just kidding. Yeah, no, I know the exact meme here. <gasps> Let's go. Hold on. Who want me? Who want me? Dang it! Fucking hell! I I blinked when this started fading away. God damn it! I don't work this week up here. Oh no, that's rough. But I want to build yes. My mom said, "Don't lie." Too bad, Derek. You had to follow the funny memes. Uh, what did, what did Honey Paw says? What the fuck? I can't vote Twitch knows. I voted no. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the, 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 the poll thing, ladies. I'm so sorry. Four Flink. Shut up! Uh, I guess that's much. <laughs> Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. So now that we had enough fun with that, uh, let me just close this tab. 
My cat fell asleep on my lap and is sitting up on my headphone wire. I can't sit up. I'm permanent. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Just try to gently remove the uh, your 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 um headphone wire, uh, or at least take off the headphone wire and then slowly try to take it away from under your cat. Uh, well, thank you so much, Eki. Uh, mods, can I get a refund on that guy? Because I don't have my water bottle with me. But I promise as soon as the, high, the, the, the advertisements start rolling in in about 20 minutes, I will get water. I promise you, chat. I just forgot to do that, but I don't want to do it right now. Gamer pose king. All right, I need to be drawn with that pose now. I'll do I need to do it for myself. I promised myself I would do it, but I didn't. I'm not refunding that shit again. Go get one. No! Please! I don't want to get up! Please! Okay, what the fuck is wrong with my lighting? Why am I like frog blinking for real? Show my face, stupid, 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 stupid. Okay. I think I have a good solution for why. Turn that shit up! Okay, there. Now it shouldn't do it anymore. Okay. Dale! Dale! Reptile behavior. Why are you guys saying Dale? Hi, vampire! How are you guys doing? Oh god, I haven't finished the last two. No, it's okay! Bro, shake your time! Who want crazy wasp? Well, <laughs> I like that. My hand's gonna... Oh, I already read that. Um. So no mistress like... Uh, what? No mistress like Avi? What do you mean no mistresses? Avi, send the face if you got the time. Uh Okay, let's let's, let's send the photo. Let's send the photo. One, two, three. Hold on, I wanna do it so like I'm blinking halfway. No, my eyes are fully closed in that one. Hold on. One, two, three. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hold on, I can do it. I look stupid, but not stupid enough. One more time, one forward, one more time. It still didn't get the fucking doll blink. God damn it. Whatever, whatever, I tried, I tried. Dang it! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Very amphibian. We sure you're not a frog? I'm not a fucking frog. I'm going to strangle you guys. I like to spray the wasp nest around the house with pressure washer. Very satisfying. Awesome. Is she mewing? Shut up. I'm not mewing. Thank you for the posture check. Guys, look at this image. I regret having eyes. It's not saucy or anything. They are all watching. Let's go to DMs. <laughs> this really... I, I wish more fucking Discord kitten online bitches would do this. Would have this mindset, dude. How many times have you guys been on other servers? Maybe not even VTubing related. Maybe like school or something gay like that. Or an anime Discord. And you just see bitches RPing in general. It's so... It's so weird. Lol, that works too. Avi is just the frogs that's having an existential crisis induced a delusion of being a wasp. Imagine being so delusional you imagine yourself as the food that you want to eat. No e-dating in public! Oh, uh, that's mean. Role-playing can be fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. But if you're, like, with a significant other and you guys are, like, weird RPing in general, like, ooh, pookie. I'm gonna go scare away all these alphas for you in general. And then she's like, oh my god, Jeffrey, you're so brave. And it's like, dude, no one wants to see it. You're just jelly. I just hate to see it in public. I just, it, 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 it's kind of like, okay, brother, we, we, we get it. You two are dating. You guys are happy. I, I, I could be happy for people. It's just, you know. I mean, RP is great, but not when you don't consent to it, to doing it as well. We all need to see more love in our lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a loser, loser thumb cell that, that hates all loves. Like, like that one panel in us from fucking awesome. <laughs> Drop dead. And it's just people living their normal high school life. 
Wait, you guys already made the meme in, uh... Hold on, hold on, let me show you. I love this. I love this so much. Who want me? No. <laughs> This is so good. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Jad. Um, unprotected hot holding. Ooh, scandalous. How lewd. I don't role play outside of DMs anyways because it's more fun. Uh, that is too many scenarios where multiple people get irritable with my character. Troll! There's also some people that are just like, you just don't have the same vibe as them with RPing wise. I've done my fair share of role playing in the past. I was a Homestuck fan and I also uh, was a weird kid. I'm watching a couple of bozos arguing about China, Russia, and the US military strength in the fucking meme server. God, that's terrifying. Uh, I used to love that shit when I was a kid. Ooh. Um, I don't know oh, where I was going. I'm being devil's advocate to <laughs> Maybe you're just sleep deprived, Pushfire. Okay, well, I lie. Shippers like PDA. PDA? That's so much. Um, man, I'll be just heat seeing romance anywhere. I love romance, especially when it's between a boy and another boy. And if that boy was named uh, Meta, Meta, Metal Gear Solid Snake, and the other boy was near, named uh, Otacon. <laughs> Kitten, Daddy cut himself while training with his katana. I need you to drive me to the ER. <laughs> Yeah, that shit's so fucking funny. I love that meme. Not now, kitten. Daddy's about to... T no. <laughs> that shit is so funny. Listen, RP is only for the table. Yeah, exactly. Funniest shit is when someone's first message in a Twitch stream be like, enters with ominous smoke and mysterious figure. And their name is like Dark, Sw Dark Sword Lord of the Void. It's so fucking funny. I feel bad. I feel bad. It's just like the vibes just aren't there meshing together. And they're just like, you know... As a dark lord myself, I think you're very awesome, wasp, and I respect your grind. And I'm just like, okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little, uh, a little, um, not tired of the whole Oni man that's mysterious and edge lord. Oh, yeah, no, no, they're omnipotent. That's the part that annoys me, where they're like, you better back down, wasp. Otherwise, I'll use my powers to uh, strike lightning in your house. And I'm like, okay, buddy. Um, I'm gone for one minute and chat is RP. Where are the mods? <laughs> the mod is RPing. Uh, the unironic worst is when people do this, but also speak in the third person. True, the third person is a little bit interesting. I won't knock off anyone to do it too much, but it's it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, that's just called Yaoi. Uh, the hell yeah, I love me some Yaoi. That's my Fuji Oshi. Holy fuck, that's a uh, that's a good one. Someone write that down. I put the Oshi in Fujoshi. Fuck yeah! That's awesome, ladies. I've met people from Discord IRL. Online, they're so talkative, and as soon as they're out in public, they're all quiet and awkward. Got around up the introverts and added into my collection. That's so fucking cute, Eki. And that's that. In off a lot of people were very chatty. Or maybe I was. Maybe I was just the fucking weird chatty one. But I talked to so many people at that time. I'm the opposite of a... The, I thought I would be the online introverted friend IRL, but no, I just yapped. I yapped so hard. It was so hard to shut me up. Daddy, kitten, beat genital with this... What the fuck am I reading? Anyways, kitten, I'll be honest. Daddy's about to kill himself. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to reference. It was so funny. <laughs> Um, thank you for the hydration pick, y'all, Nick. I don't have water with me, but if you wait for, like, ten minutes when the ads start, when I go up and get water, I promise I'll do the hydration. I'm sorry, pick, y'all, Nick. Honestly, though, we wish we could be a spaces on account and snake together. They're so cute, and I love them so much. I love thinking about them. It hurts my head. Y'all want VL? I got some pretty good recommendations. Base caliber VL enjoyer. Me about to reheat donuts for lunch. Let's go! Well, I spoke to my wife. She said there's room for a wasp in our lives, but she wants exclusive public <laughs> No, oh, I am not gonna join a poly, a poly, 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 what's a polynomial? That's fucking math, Avi. It's not polyglot as well. What is it? Poly, polygraph? It's not polygraph either. What is it, chat? 
Polyamory! I'm not gonna join your damn polygon. No, I will not. I refuse. I hate those terms. What's it called? Like, you get kicked out of the poly polyamorous... There's a name for it now. They call it a name now. Uh, a specific name. Polycule! Polycule, that's what it's called. Do you guys know it's called Polycule? That's such a cute name. It's awesome. The Avi Mistress Dean will never have... What the fuck? <laughs> I want to be... I want to be... Mon monotonous. Monogamy! Monogamy! Words are very hard. Harm? That's too difficult. I can barely text back one person, chat. Nightmare blood rotation in the polycule. Yeah! <laughs> Join my hexagon! <laughs> I mean, if it's a hexagon, maybe. Mm, I really... I really do love that shape, if you guys can't tell. I don't know. It might be a bit hard to tell, but I really, really, really like hexagons. I think they're... They're pretty cool, I guess. Polycule, when the relation graph stretches to infinity. <laughs> There's just too many things that start with poly. I don't hate polyamory. I just wouldn't want it for myself. I just said I thought it was awesome. Um, <laughs> joined by hexagon. <laughs> That's such a funny fucking sentence. Hey, I saw you, me and my five hench- Oh, sorry. Me and my four henchmen- Sorry. Me and the four girlies saw you across the bar, and we just thought you'd be really- You were really fucking awesome. Do you want to join us and make a hexagon? Polyamorous relationship with me and my 20 copies of me as a girl. <laughs> Damn, you're so lame. Actually, no, I can't say that, because I was going to be like- I, I wouldn't mind 20 copies of me as a boy, but then I realized, wait, no. I'm a girl already. Fuck, I forgot I'm not a dude sometimes. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hang around with so many dudes that sometimes I forget I'm not one as well. I'm so used to men around me going about their homies and be like, all right, come in here, homies. Let me give you the, uh, the, the fucking, the, the Glizzy Tron 3000. And just hearing that language every day, I kind of forget I'm not a dude as well. So I can't make those jokes. Polyamorous relationship between me and the five eggs. Yeah! That'd be crazy incest, dude, because that's your own, like, offering. That's your own, um, child. Maybe you should hang out with your wife. Shut up! You're right. You're right. I should. Yeah, my LC doesn't disapprove of my lifestyle. This is a win for girls everywhere. Yeah! I believe polycools are so cool, but I can't have that for myself. Because I think I would be the lamest fucking one in the polycool. And they would all have a council meeting and be like, Avi? Me and the four bad bitches that all smoke weed had a talk with you. You don't smoke weed. Um, you get very nervous around us. And the way you roll your fucking joints suck, okay? So we're kicking you out of the polycule. And I'd be like, oh, okay, that's understandable. I didn't want to be in this fucking cule anyways. <laughs> you all are gay anyways. And she's like, we, we know, Avi. We know. We're, we're gay. That's kind of what the point of this polycule is. And I'll be like, <laughs> I need to stop writing fan fictions. Peak friendship is being gay as fuck with the homies despite none of us being even remotely fruity. It's so funny, dude. Bro, I'm already in polyamorous relationship with all the voices in my head. <laughs> I love that for you. See, this one- They're all girls, right? I'm too needy for that, and I'm very insecure. Exactly! I'm too insecure about it. I'll be like, okay, well, guess what? Fucking Jessica looks like she's having too much fun with Bethany. I feel like I'm gonna be the third wheel in my own poly fucking polycule. <laughs> you get kicked off the island, Avi. <laughs> oh my god! That's a fucking Total Drama Island episode where they all gotta vote each other off with fucking marshmallows. Oh my god. Wink! That's not a wink. Wink! There you go. Me and the bad bitches that bite Kit Kats like it's a damn sandwich deciding you ain't based enough. You're out of the polyester group. <laughs> Get out of my polyester. That's it. Kicked- oh, That's it! Kicked off the trapezoid. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that you guys join in on my silliness. <laughs> It's a funny little pin message. But yeah, I love my polycule homies. Love is love. You can do whatever you fucking want, chat. Life's too young. Life's too short to settle with anything normal. Be a weirdo. Let's go. He got pinned. Dude, being pinned in a Twitch chat because a mod finds you so funny 
it's so honorable like yeah the streamer it's cool when the streamer like reads your text correctly and understands your joke and reads it out loud but it's when the mods pin it the mods are your real audience chat if you make the mods happy it don't even matter it don't even matter about the streamer it's the mods you want to raise up that's my little advice right there i remember when i went to a streamer's um uh, stream i won't say who it is and like the the modder is their gf no no is there a them f fuck bf i don't fucking know um the 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 mod is their uh significant other and i made a really funny joke and uh and then i was they were just like oh my god avi you're like so funny and i'm just like oh my god all of my messages have been pinned i am so happy i i can die happy knowing that a mod and their them f likes me <laughs> oh, significant them i'm so their mf <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I fumbled that one really hard. But the, oh my god, significant modder. We are here for the mods. Yes, and then mod check. <laughs> oh, MF, they're significant motherfucker. Oh god, you guys are too funny. The modder is their guardian force. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But that's just for me personally. That's how I enjoy stream sometimes. I, I'm a big I'm a big chatter. So I love when mods love me too. I especially love when mods think I'm the funniest one around. But I also love funny uh, other funny chatters. Cause you know, I can't be funny all the time. Sometimes my brain needs a rest from being so hilarious and great and just coming up with so many zingers with my W aura. I'll be digging that hole deep today. I really am, dude. I feel like I really fumbled with that one. But I, it was just a moment of forgetfulness, you know? It is my bad. It is my bad. Sometimes it's like I could still see Nuggets type in chat. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, Magic? I'm right here. Wait, who made that pull? You made that pull, right, chicken? Did chicken make this pull? The chicken, chicken, you made this pull, right? Hey, what's up, bro? Tan together. <laughs> You're forgiven. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, anyways, uh, I was gonna say I did it. What the fuck? Who the hell made the poll then? I didn't fucking make it. Ghost mod. Ghost mod run wild right now. <laughs> Becco, did you make that poll? I don't think Becca makes this poll because she doesn't type like this. She doesn't say da mods. My bet's on potatoes. I mean, we have a rogue mod. Is that how you spell rogue? I'm so stupid. Anyways, the hydration check is almost here, chat. The ads are going to come in about three minutes. So for those of you who are not subscribed to this channel yet, this is your final warning. There will be no more warnings after this. Capital letters on the options, so I'm inclined to believe... Capital letters on the options. True! That could be someone on mobile, though. Also, the W isn't capitalized. Because if it was, then maybe it would... Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> ah, Rouge is better. I always got that confused. Like, Rouge and Rogue. I feel like if I was a kid going on a spelling bee, that would have killed me. Wait, is it Rouge? Is it Rogue or Rouge? Rogue or Rouge? God, I hate English. Rogue is R-O-G-U-E. Yes, I know. I'm a D&D &D player. Rouge is Rouge. Okay. So Rouge is the bat. Rogue is the me. <laughs> oh, Becca is the only one here aside from me and the bots. Unless Twitch is lying to me. Oh, that is Becca then. You're right, mod and check is both capitalized. Yeah, that's Becco. You mean the bad bitch from Sonic or the hot chick from X- There's a hot chick called Rouge in X-Men? X-Men. Ro, 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 rogue? Oh, 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 she's pretty. I like redheads. There's so many red- ah! Oh, she has red and silver hair. Sorry. Becca refuses to confirm nor deny. Obvious being haunted by a ghost mob. Okay, this one I know is chicken because, uh, 
He types like that. I'm pretty sure. Actually, you know what? Fuck. If there's an option between knowing which message is Becco and which one was chicken, I don't think I'd be able to tell. Ooh, it wasn't me? Okay, liar. God doesn't like liars, you know. <laughs> My wife has a rogue streak in her hair, naturally. Rogue? R Rouge! Rogue. Fuck. Even after you guys told me, I still can't remember it. But yeah, ro ro Raj. Raj. <laughs> Maj Podge. Maybe it's the co fi bot. Duh. Of course. It was obvious all along. Anyway, chat. Um, I'm going to have an ad roll in about 30 seconds. I'm going to go dip the screen for just a bit to get some water. All right, chat? So just hold on type and have a good day. I don't type what the fuck. I just say the fuck or TF. True. You do do that. Unless you're lying. Also, I love that stupid please. T7 TV. I love it. We riot. Raj. I, I just... I'm stupid. Let's go. In the BRB menu. See you guys. Ads will start soon. And if they don't start immediately... Oh fuck, I should start up. That's, that's the, that's, that's because Wordle, that's, that's scary. That's, that's. I should have done that one. Mm. This is hard. Okay, I'll go away.
That coin one is unfair. Why is this so hard? We barely made it to 71 yet. Also, water acquired for like one sip. That one is so unreal. Hold on, chat. It'll be there soon. There you go. You guys can read it from there, right? I'm not sabotaging you guys. You guys already made it to the final round. Hold on, chat. Uh, let me set up the stream just a little bit. Okay, no more funny polls. Okay, no more funny polls because I don't know where to put the space. Damn, good luck with this one, Jet. You guys already beat the 29 goal, but still. Pull my Bibu trigger. All right, after this, there's no more. I got it. I was retiring out of word. All right, chat. That's all. That's it. That's over. I hope you had your fun. Gah, don't go me. Try to retire again. I'll be no. I will not. <laughs> Girl, gift was gift wasn't a world word either. That's no because F was a false one. Um, that was the false word or false letter. There was only one E. Retire us too. Wait, 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 wait. Sounds like a sore loser. <laughs> just kidding, just gonna give. Just gonna give. No, you're not gonna fucking. No, 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 no. It's starting again. It started another round. Let me close it out. Let me close it out. Let me close it out. Okay, there, there, there. You guys didn't hear the audio, but I heard the fucking ting, 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 and I was scared. Hold on. I'm really zoomed in again. So let me go zoom in out of this. Stop, chat. I closed it. Stop typing in random words in my chat! It's done! Stop! That's not even in any of the- Stop! <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Penis! <laughs> you guys are too funny. You guys are too funny. Wine. Grief. Words. Winner. None of you guys are getting any points for anything. Nothing. You guys are all posers. Anyways, why is she like that? That's not a real word. Anyway, chat, I'm gonna get the real game ready. As you guys know, we are almost done with the Anthology of the Killers. We are almost done. And I'm super excited to have this category of Game Plus Demos for one more time! Is 
Sorry, I'm getting hiccups because, um, because, I don't know, I just get hiccups. A real game exit. Yes, chat, after every single hour, you guys know this, we always do a real game. Okay, let me lock this so it doesn't... Let me lock this one too. Let me lock this one too. Still no funny killer prop overlay? Uh, 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 I couldn't get it to work and it broke. It's okay, chat. It hasn't even been seven hours of yapping that yet. Okay, okay. You thought, you thought yapping was the game, huh? You thought yapping was my full-time job. No, chat. Now we're gonna play the game. Silently. Polyamongus. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I hope the polyamory community adopts that phrase because that is so funny. Hold on, let me find my controller. Hello, Valkenland. You mean there's actually a game today? Yes! Yes, chat! I play video games sometimes! Among Us, just like, obvious. Shut up! I regret telling you guys anything about anything ever. Just kidding, no, I don't. She's always late to her own shoes. What do you mean? I make it on time every single time. You guys are so jealous of how not late I am to places and you guys still can't hear the audio. That's awesome. Let me go try to put a filter on this so that it um doesn't blast everyone's ears. Polly Among Us relationship with four plus people and one of them is gay slash no, not gay. <laughs> I wonder who. Let me put on the limiters. Limiters and I will set it at about... I don't think it's limiter. Shit. Uh, what did I put? Noise gate? Noise suppression? It was one of these. Oh well, we'll find out. <laughs> game started. Yeah, you guys should be happy that the game started. We're almost done with this one. You're late like 10 seconds. What do you mean? Okay, boss. What are you gonna do? Cut my pay? Cut my hours? Make me not stream from Monday, Wednesday, Friday and make me do like a midnight stream? And then I gotta be like, hey, co-workers, do you guys have any open shifts? And they're like, I don't know. I got a closing shift when I never do closing shift either. And I'm like, damn. Our boss must really hate us or something. Avi, you're BJ. Fuck. Thank you for that, chicken. I appreciate that. Rah. Thank you. You don't have to come in tomorrow. <laughs> Good, because I wasn't even assigned tomorrow. I think today we're going to go finish. I, I think we finished ears and we just need hearts face and the bonus rooms i'm super excited so that means today might be a shorter stream than usual which is good um because i actually really like shorter streams making those slacking into a sunday streams oh god i i can't do sunday streams anymore i've been picking up closing shifts instead of mid shift wait hold on yeah that's right uh, i have a co-worker that really likes to pick up my mid shift so he can have it and i pick up his closing shift which I don't mind because I get to work with my favorite co-worker. Well, one of the co-workers I'm chill with. I say favorite co-worker, but like, you know, you know, I, I, I just like being around this co-worker because they know what to do. They, they, um, uh, like to keep busy. Um, I don't, I'm not forced to talk about my social life too much with them. They know I'm a VTuber. Oh my God, your favorite co-worker. All your ships are being given to Savvy. No! No wonder she's doing fucking 24 hour streams like every day. They do all the work. Shut up! I'm not a slacker. I like that new guy you've been bullying. <laughs> I haven't seen him since, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if any of the new people that my job hired quit. In fact, I'd be really happy. Not that there's anything wrong with the new people. It's just, you know, they're taking my hours away and my coworkers hours away. Um, Blood is that one. And we already did blood, so we just need to do the rest of it. You traumatized the man to quit out of a job. No, I didn't make him quit. If he can't handle it, then SMH, I don't know what to tell you. I think we have not gone in this room. Live kill. Oh, we have done this room. Shit, did we already finish this game? That was a joke, Chad. Gonna look ping if you need. Bye, chicken. It was nice seeing you. I didn't make anyone quit, Chad. If I had that power, I would make so many people quit. I wonder if the activities are happening outside. There'll be plenty of time left over for activities. Okay, so there's face and there's a uh, heart next. I think face will be next. Um, it's interesting. They're both in the same kind of corridors or hallway. 
Uh, I'd quit too, Luki. Shut up! No, you would be like, I wish I could work with her so much. Too bad she only works these hours and I work those hours. And then you'd be like awkwardly fumbling because you'd be like, wow. Avi's too cool for- Whoa! Fuck, I can't enter back in. I did this to myself. Make me quit. I'm ready to leave for a new job. Hi, me. You're not gonna chase. Hello. You're not gonna chase me. What's that? Am I BB? I'm taller than she was, don't you think? I'm so tall. What are you talking about? I hope you like the video games. To be honest, I found them a bit repetitive. All that digging through old basements, chase around, never getting the full picture. Who wants to live like a rat all the time? So true, baby. Anyways, uh, am I going to die here? The next time I die, I'll come back as a bird. That's so lovely. I hope I come back as like a sick... Where's the exit? As a sick, um... Axolotl or something. I would have filed an HR. I wasn't mean to him like that, Chad. I was just telling him he messed up. Are you sure this is a Hank Williams song? Say new wave and old wave in old time. We'll be one and the same a little bit later in the game. Okay, can I go back out? I just accidentally stumbled across something. I'm not... I'm not really sure I get the plan here. Listen, do you, many, do you know how many flyers for these kind of bands I saw on my trip outside the city? Every bar in every town. A whole underground economy of cowboy hats. We could go there. We could escape into the land of country music where there are always, always happy endings. So hurry up and pick a real country song. I told you, I don't know any. Well, I guess I heard one once. They're gonna find us. They're gonna find us. I just want to go back into the house. Still away to the dark end of the street, you and me. There. And that was just a long way for me to have my game get closed. That's so sexy. Wait. Anyways, um... I just tap back in. What the fuck am I looking at? We're playing Anthology of the Killer. A game where, um... They love to troll me like that, where they just put in a... Oh, who knew that if I enter a door called Exit, they would kick me out, kick me out of this game. So silly. I think I got like... No, it's just another way for the game to kick me out. That's it. We found our way out. Fuck. Sorry, I messed up the, uh... Anyways, um... Man, this Sonic game looks weird. We're not gonna be playing Sonic games until Friday because we gotta finish this game. I'd feel really bad if I never got to finish this game because I got too silly, uh... Forgetting to put a schedule. I did forget to put a schedule this week. I apologize, Chet. Don't worry, next week the schedule will be obvious. It'll be all Sonic Adventure. Avi, I love your content, sadly. What do you mean, sadly, you love my content? You should love my content and be happy with yourself and realize that there's so much joy in life to live and that there's so much to life, like giving me $5 a month in my channel. Anyway, it's time to find my way back in there again, if I could remember. I think it was here. So this is what people see when someone says, the animal ain't shit. No, chat, you don't need drugs to have a good time. Why can't you understand that? And now I realize I should have used this time to look at the beginning to see which one's next. Is it face or, blo or uh, blood? It was face or something. Howdy, howdy, welcome! I did that with 11 brownies. 11? You're different, man. You're so different. Okay, I think I was already here. Ears, yeah, ears. We already did ears. That was a pretty long chapter, honestly. It was when BB was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill something today. The fucking neighbors. Okay, there you go. Now I get to play face. Look at this police officers in the building. With doors. Unable to be opened. That was the exit. Let's not go through there again. Ghost. Not man with knife, flamingo. And look at this poster. Holy shit, that's Saturn of the Jupiter, the reference the he's eating that man with his ass out. Face. Of the killer. And what else? What else is there to note? That's BB with the gun. Gun. BB kills them all! <gasps> Cause my name actually means BB gun, huh? That's what it all means. <sighs> He's doing what to the guy? He's killing him! Face. 
of the killer. Oh shit, there's like three different docks in here. Um, let's do act one. Here, the game is getting a lot longer, so I'm glad we got the time here to chain. Run fast, comrade! The old world is right behind you. Ray Wayne Gretzky. I wonder who that guy is. What do you think it means? No time for that now. The killer could be anywhere. Am I sitting on like a... Why am I moving like up and down? It's like I'm sitting on a little rocking chair at all times. Chat! The killer could be anywhere! Keep your eyes peeled and wide open! I only have... My bare fist to protect me! Ooh, the 3D models! I've had nightmares of that when I was younger. Yeah, there's some things as a kid when people were experimenting with 3D back in the days where some of them just look very uncanny even though they weren't supposed to. They were all marketed for kids, but it just looked creepy. In her vast nest of wooden corpses, the killer is hatching the world that is to come. Once we're inside, kill anything that moves. Ooh. Like, do you guys know what I mean by that 3D creepiness? You guys have to know what I mean. Also, I love these, uh, oh, these, uh, killer marks. Yes, yes, exactly. Now let's go in. But Shrek, though, Shrek was definitely something that peaked of 3D art. Hey, I recognize this place. This is the old urban cenotaph. The killer has infiltrated all of our most beautiful institution. Now he's hidden them with symbols of faces, like the title, the face of the killer. Guns blazing, loud and fast. Chat, remember, kill anyone on sight, even if it's your own mother. Even if it's the goddamn police. Just, you don't know who is the killer. Because we all wear different faces. Like that guy right there. Look, mask and costumes of all our leading statistics and celebrity car salesmen. My god, is nothing sacred? So statisticians and celebrity car salesmen. Alright, killing everyone. Pew! First victim. Alright. Only one of my sh side is chatted on me. No, don't shoot, please! Cogs and things, what are they there for? What do you think? As thought of the whole of civic life were one machine, built by the killer over centuries, assembled in silence for some dark purpose yet to be disclosed. Boss, you're depressing me! <laughs> Cranking my cogs! What a terrible sentence to read! I love your little yippee emo, by the way. What is this cute little corner right here? I like playing this game. This game doesn't have a lot of gameplay itself. Just a little bit of walking simulator. Which is alright with me. I love walking sims. Look at all these beautiful paintings, Shut. I like that one with a little eye. It looks really cute. Oh! The portrait hall of city fathers is a memory of better days. That cog is huge. <laughs> Whoa, man! Nice cog! Yeah, your mom told me that yesterday. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, isn't that... Is it gonna kill me if it touches... Ah, something touched me! Listen, did you hear that? Ah, oh, it's probably just the wind. Come here, baby. Mmm. Kiss, kiss, kiss. What the fuck? What happens if I go this way? I don't know if going back here is an option. Ah, oh, dang it. Did the corridor where it was just end like this? Maybe. Who's to say, you know? Gee, you're so tense. How do people live in hot countries? Dude, I have no idea. When you're born in a country like that, you just have to adapt to it or die. Hello? But they say the killer lives in this place. There's no such thing as a killer. It was all made up to help sell life insurance. You know, we're all alone down here. That guy is definitely the killer. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> You get to have the base control. Hello, is anyone there? Kitty, kit, Oh god, why the fuck does that scare me so much? <laughs> hey, look. Uh, unit 12 the base? Hello? Is anyone there? Damn it, there's no signal in here. 
listen, it's Bibi. It's the killer. She found us. Hello? Hello? Can anybody read me down here? Why did the killer look like me, Chet? I know I'm so beautiful and handsome and perfect form. But that's grounds to sue for identity theft, right? Dang. Looks like you got ahead of yourself. Don't worry. Just gotta have a good head on your shoulders. Level headed. <laughs> you know, every time I have a like a show I love where a character dies by beheading, these are always the jokes people want to make. And you know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Minus two. Minus two, that guy. Minus two. Hold on, let me find the exit for this. I just gotta hug the walls. Oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. On all accounts of everything. Oh. Your ass is trained our chap, cuz. Is the mission still going? Okay, over! Dally! Forgives, be kills. Did I lose already? God damn it. Does it say God forbid? Damn, BB. Why'd you kill so many people? They asked so many questions, Ray. Were you guys going to help me here or what? Gee, I never thought we'd find ourselves inside the faculty tunnels. Our neglected academic careers must be finally taken off. They don't even got good TV reception. What did this all mean, Chad? What did this all really mean? Don't worry about disappearing and not, honestly. Anyways. Trying to figure out what a story in BB in the uh, anthology of the killer means is really funny. Because you think it would know one thing, and then boom. We got plot wizard, hell yeah we did. Was this whole building really left unlocked? According to the charter, all graduates must be able to pick up their diplomas directly from head office if there are no living staff members left to pass them out. <laughs> How about Dr. Blood? Uh, decapitated Sunday. For real? I owe him a term paper. I hope he, that doesn't mean he died unfulfilled. It means BB needs to shift to stop motion animation. This is ears, right? Hello, uh, Fuzzy. Uh, we finished ears. This is face of the killer. Ears was the one where BB went to go find the uh, neighbor. That uh, is playing music, I think. Okay, everybody load up. Credentials are important in today's mo job market. I read an editorial about this. Great, Bachelor of Phrenology. It looks like most of the good ones were taken. Great! Bachelor, bachelor of Numerology! Bachelor of Game Design! Well, I guess we're graduates now! Is it near or does this town seem kind of dead? It's National History Day, so all the stores are closed off. That's how we were all able to get the day off! Avi, why are you so weird? Thank you for asking that question. Is there really an answer? What if... What if we are the biggest enemies to ourselves? I'm chaining myself to a rock. <laughs> just... Just be wary of any crows that want to go ahead and eat your liver. Alright. Where are you guys working anyways? Well... I'm a curler for Knifero, the new subscription box service. Sign up now to get a hand-curated batch of fresh knives in the mail every week. No questions asked. <laughs> That's so silly. I need to see this. I need to see this. I need to see this. Come out. Come out. Come out. I want you. No, it left me. I thought it was going to be a big sneeze chat. Ugh. Thank you so much, Homunculus, for the 30 bits. I appreciate that a lot. Go down. It was you that cursed against me. Anyways, let's keep going. This town is dead. We got our diplomas. Just any diploma, really. And let's go. What about you, Claude? I find bloody horror tapes at thrift stores and sell them to HR departments. Apparently, it helps executives get into the zone. It's a growing market, so competition is fierce. Some of my rivals have started breaking into people's rooms to film their own new product. But I have a good feeling about my find this week. The 400 blows? Sounds grisly, right? I think it's one of the guinea pig series. Yeah, and even the bars are closed. Is National History Day a bigger deal than I thought? I hear fireworks outside, so at least someone's having fun. I don't know if the game wants me to go here. Yes. BB, you're in all those horror films. Maybe you can hook Claude up? I keep telling you, that's not me. That one is the other BB. Really? Cool. How many of you are there? 
Why is there so many BBs? Look, you know the way characters in the movie series can kind of change definition over time? Like Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monsters? Or Dracula and Dracula's monsters? Some time ago, I accidentally started in a direct horror vi video horror film known as Bloody Night. Oh shit, yeah, that was the uh, college one. Every time Avi speaks, I'm reminded of her nasally voice. <laughs> That's just me acting with this character, obviously. Imagine living in a society and then calling Avi weird. Yeah, what does that say about the rest of you if I'm the weirdest one you know? I guess it... I guess it did well enough on the direct market that other studios started making their own versions, with the BB character returning as a different actress every time. Likeness grows, growing ever more abstract. Holy shit, that one's got titties! BB and the Black Mask Club. BB only shoots twice. Damn, BB got legs for days, dude. BB with all these other BB duplicates are kind of sexy. BB reserves nine chairs at midnight. What does that one even mean? Wear a red dress for BB. BB is kind of sexy. This is kind of... Are these the ones that are acting as her? BB kills them all. That's the one we saw. Until gradually, the character itself began to blur, mutating through proximity to murder into a visual shorthand for that murder. Its symbol? Its source? Avi, can you retain- read slower? I can't retain shit. Oh, so basically, I remember how in, um... There was a level I was in where I was recorded to be uh, chased around in a murder house by other murderers. Well, it became a direct to VHS. And then, everyone liked it so much that they basically made BB into a fictional character in itself. Basically. Get a retainer, duh. Not yet. Hold on. If you meet BB in the road, you're dead. Now BB's the murderer. I try not to take it personally, but it's not like they're paying me residues. So I've been picking up shifts lately at medieval themed chain restaurant near town. The boss's name is. Pussman. I wanted to get that one that said Pussy Man, but it was too many letters for the blade. You know. I can't help but notice the doors in the building seem to be tight, at, locked tight at all times. It's an exciting new world of re new restaurant concepts. BB wears a right dress to someone else's wedding. Ooh, the horror! Wait until I see ZZ. ZZ wasn't starred in any film, so we only get one version of ZZ. Also, look at her fucking cute medieval ass outfit. Great job is not fall. What if I fall down? Dang it. Great job not falling in yet. This is a surf position, but we will start you at our wench tier. Uh, what does that entail? Oh, we're just wenching it up. Wenching around. And by it, let's just say. My pingus. And remember, hand your keys back every shift. I hate buying new ones every time someone falls into the corpse grinding chopping grinding machine. Oh, I love this photo of this king just eating in there. Do you guys have like a medieval restaurant where you guys live? Your job is very simple. Food orders are prepared by the machines and then fed into the mangling device. Then all of the dark, wet slurry is poured into the city sewers and the cycle of business repeats. Your job is to reach way, way into the mangling device to pull bone fragments off the blades when they get clogged. Uh-oh. So, nobody actually eats any of the food? Is this one of those tax things? That's really more of a vassal to your question. One day, something went wrong with the pipes. I went downstairs to take a look and found a network of stone tunnels that seemed to predate the creation of any no themed restaurant that went down deeper and deeper. Leading towards a dark river of lymph that rolled slowly onwards. Underground. Fuck! Personally, I'm more of a burger dolphin guy. What are you, Max? Where are you working? Toof, thank you so much for subscribing! Right now we're playing a silly little game where I accidentally skipped the text like an idiot. Because I'm so silly, but thank you for continuing to subscribe. I hope Kelby's doing all good on your side. He's laundering money for sure. Oh, absolutely.
sorry, just needed a quick hydration. Uh, I get paid two cents of comments by writing on one of those websites that just post pictures of car crashes next to garbled, vaguely menacing headlines. Swedish women want you to know about this! A hundred, a hundred, max up the comment. So true, bestie. His tummy hurts. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tube. I know exactly what you mean. Ghost peppers are no joke. How come you're the only one of us with an actual media career? Well, I guess that's that. See you all in the workforce sometime. And just like that. Just seems like some people are forgetting the uh, duties they owe to society. Why are you talking like a cowboy? Listen, as the closest thing this town has to youth culture, we have a civic responsibility to stay up and party on graduation night. But everything's closed. Not everything. It turns out some of the other guys from our year are holding a house party tonight. Late or tonight. All we need to do is skip this train and get to the next one. Out to... Out to where? Mansion Gardens. I really love this game. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill, but if you never had to kill anything. The uh, camera work is beautiful. Hello, guys. Not when I break them. You'll be in a retainer whether you like it or not. Not if I make your dental more British first. Punch. You guys are so funny to each other. I like that you guys fight. You're on Corpo Hell. Let's go. We love our office worker, ladies and gents. Look at that. And there's fireworks, too. Did you guys enjoy the fireworks from this year chat for my Americans? And for my non-Americans, I'm sorry you guys don't get fireworks and that it's illegal or something. But, you know, maybe we can work together to make sure that you guys will be able to blow up shit when it's, uh, gender reveals too. Oh. Everything is animated so beautifully. I love it. That's so lovely. And awesome. And swag. Fireworks scare dogs. It's the worst part. That's true. Unfortunately. Hey, here you all are. What's with the monster outfits? It's safer to be feared than loved. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm a wasp tuber, guys. Oh, that answers everything, Chad. You guys scare me, right? When you said you were all going home to change, I assumed you were just being, you know, dressy. The neighborhood seems sort of ritzy. Do we really know anyone who lives here? Don't worry. Most of the old mansions have been chopped into apartments now. Like everything else. But who am I playing as, chat? A sexy wolf? Let's go! But, but they did but they do say there are a few- Fuck! But they do say there are a few still occupied by descendants of the original city owners. Insulated in there against the years, growing paler and strained with each successive generation. Fireworks mean more work for me because idiots get hurt. Zard, are you also in the ER field? That's really cool if we have you as well. We have a Eden that's also part of that uh, industry that sort of thing. Wolf girl, where? <gasps> right here. But she's mine. Back off. <laughs> Ray, did you actually get invited to this party we're going to? Art is a universal invitation to experience, Claude. Let me in. Hey, man, it's me, Carnosaur. I was in your social studies course, I think. There are many associates. Andy Worrells, Dracula, and Gazoo, the thing forsaken by God. Come in, come in, every everyone, welcome. Hey, I like your BB suit. Thank you. I worked hard on it. Feel free to hang out. Just stay out of my dad's room. That's what this one's gonna sound like. It's gonna sound a little dopey like this. Abby would be a wolf girl. I would. I would be a sexy, cool, ultimate wolf girl. But I also wouldn't mind being the bunny girl too. That also sounds awesome. Uh. Intimidate them before getting too parasocial. Let them know who is top. Doesn't this party seem kind of off? Well, ordinarily I'd say yes. But I've already spent the last four years hiding from maniacs and mostly talking to myself. So I've decided from now on, I'm gonna be the new BB. Confident and sophisticated, the life of every party. 
She's a head taller than you, you know. It's tonight, contract work, and you made enough to hear thousands and thousands. Hello, hello, enchant, enchanté. Greetings. Gee, everyone here already seems to know each other. I wonder if they all belong to the same vocational track. God damn it, BB already fucking lost by not being part of the in crew. This always sucks, thinking it's gonna be a new year, it'll be a new me. And then? Everyone already knows each other, so what's the point? BB, you're gonna belong somewhere, don't worry. Glass crunches somewhere in plush carpet. A chorus of whoops coming from the TV room. Everyone's piled onto a couch, laughing and watching the, uh... S3 channel? We're big fans. That means she's totally into pissing on public. What? Oh, me, because I'm a wolf girl. No, oh. Hey, that's another BB costume, just like me. Glass lands from a distance, slamming doors. Low thumps, hush giggling, the sound of rushing feet. I wonder if those older guys are chaperones. They don't seem to be very good at it. I mean, no one's going crazy so far. And look, there's the murder guy from before. And there's a the regular murder guy. This party's awesome, Chad. It's not Halloween, but I guess we're having a costume party anyways. Hello, Max! We're playing this cool game! I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh, dang it. I thought I saw another eye icon. Is that why it's called Icon? I'm so funny. Hold on, does BB have any comment about the other BBs in here? I guess not. Howdy, everybody. Welcome, Kaijin. How are you doing? I will always enjoy my stay. Thank you. You're so special and awesome. <laughs> Anyways, back we're in the middle of a party trying to be super cool with this super cool dress, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working. That one's an interesting photo. Hee hee hee. I can't believe you brought it. Now, all we gotta do is find a TV. This party's gonna rock. I'm doing good because there's cute bug girls around. <gasps> That's the lovely kaiten in the beautiful way to introduce how you feel. CQ, CQ, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, roger that. Jeez, how many plug sockets do this guy need? What the fuck is this room? Dude, come on, let us use the set. We brought... We brought Virtual Fighter. Sorry, we're in the middle of something. I, 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 I don't know anything about tapes and being a fighting game nerd. What are you guys watching? Rehearsal tapes for the new season of the Immersive Theater. We're putting on dogs. Ezra Pound's fascist response music to the success of T.S. Eliot's Cats. That's so funny. I love cats. Apparently, it's never been before been staged to completion. I thought the theater only ever did the one play. Some people say it's time for a change. Hey, I really like your outfit. Virtual fighter. Lol. Boy, why are you barfing at that? Do we hate virtual fighter? Thank you. I'm BB. I can see that. Who are you for real? Um, still BB. Haha, <laughs> I admire your commitment. Why not come into where the real party's going? <gasps> I'm being invited with a girl, and I'm the girl as well. So, what internship do you get assigned to? Uh, did our school have an internship program? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Of course, you just fill out the form from the careers department. Wait, wait, slow down. Our school had a careers department? Virtual Fighter was revolutionary, but has since fallen off horrifically. Is there still, like, sequels to it being made? That's so sad. So what were you intending to do after graduation? I guess I always just assumed I'd be found beaten to death in an alley somewhere. Baby, that's a way to think. There's new feature in that line of work. Me and my friends! Robert is in finance. Finance? While June is apprenticing as a BTK consultant at Lockheed Martin. The fucking BTK? Isn't that a murder guy? And it stood for like nothing because if you guys don't know, I think it's the BTK murders. Yeah! I fucking knew it! That's a reference to a killer! That's so fucking funny! Um... I think this is the guy. Yeah, it stood for bind, torture, and kill. That is so funny. The reference. Yeah, I was a true crime lady, so that's how I knew it. Anyways, you consult them on... Sandwiches? Um, anyways. It's pretty crazy to finally be graduating, right? Now we have to figure out what we're doing with the rest of our lives. Haha! -ha. 
Do we? I don't think so. We've always known exactly what we're doing with our lives. More drinks? Yes, absolutely. Fill her up. Let's go! We're on Act 2 now! Holy shit, they're twerking in it! Oh, no, never mind, never mind, they're not... <laughs> I thought she was throwing it back, but, uh... That is not quite what I'm looking at. We gotta get out while we're still young! Cause shrimps like us! Baby, we were born to run! I don't know what song this is, and I don't know what I'm referencing. Oh, my new friends are so nice. I can't believe I've waited so long to penetrate the mysteries of the social. Ha ha ha. Where's everyone going? I have more opinions about zines. Bro, she is zooted. So, chat, we need a drink. Is this actually what it looks like? Boy, those fireworks are loud. Let's put on some music. Wow, I like everyone's mask. You all look real, like real murderers. How charming, how fun. <laughs> oh god, they really do. Oh. It has more waves in there. <laughs> Kinda? Not really? So you're saying media lies? I don't drink to the point of anyone noticing. Real. Real and true. There's a commencement speech too? Hey guys, we've gotta go. Let's build the future with the energy of youth together. Commence preparation, next step, briefing, begin, announcement, hall A. Poor BB. Who's giving this talk anyways? Historical tendencies. Far out. Didn't they use the tour with minor threats? That's just a funny thing. I love that. I can hold my liquor. All right, no need to flex. I get it. Just because I'm 5'1", I can't hold on to shit. Seeds, 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 seeds. I wonder if I have time to grab more of those little sausages before this start. Oops, too late! Feels like when I accidentally took too much of an edible. Yeah, I've only been non-sober like twice in my life now, but I think I'll lay off of it personally. Unless you give me alcohol in the form of it being in a baggie or a little, uh, jelly. Jello. Those ones are kind of nice. A little sour, but nice. But that's it. Hiya, kids! Hiya, hiya! Boy, it was so, so great seeing so many eager faces. What a turnout! Yes, yes. Let's start with a quick question. Who here thinks the empire ever ended? No! No way! Say it ain't so! Hey, hey! Boy, it's always a thrill to meet the true believers. Unfortunately, empires always end. It's what they do! So perhaps we should say instead that the restoration of a greater imaginary empire has never finished. I see. Give Obby jelly beer. Jello shots are fun and delicious. Yeah, they're so quirky and yummy. That's about it. I never knew that existed before Offkai. It's so silly. Feels like... Oh, I read that. Me when I drink three large bottles and I measure my height from the most wavy to the least wavy. Oh boy, I'm 15 feet tall. <laughs> I just turned onto a sobbing mess when drunk. No, I'm so sorry, Zepter, but you know what? At least it'll save you from having liver, liver damage, unlike these smucks. Call me Mappy! You may know me from my popular 1980s video game career. I retired early and bought a big house, but nobody wanted to visit my big house or listen to my increasingly hammy and truculent pop political opinions. And so, I sat there with the lights off, watching people drive past on the road outside my house. And imagine what it would feel like shooting them in their car. Until inevitably. In this way, I began to develop a grand theory of history. I realized what we needed to go back. To rejoin that sacred continu continuity of force severed from us by revolutionary turmoil. Back to the violence sanctioned by, sanctified by myth. When one could be a gills that I is upon a holy quest. Instead of some asshole strangling kids in the parking lot behind the stop and go. Yeah, back then murders used to be respected. And you were even given a cool acronym. Me when- oh, I read that. Uh, oh, I learned to like stop being drunk too. Fuck yeah. Just drink water. Glass after glass after glass. <laughs> I need to replace my liver when it happens. Maybe get two. No. 
I love the music the inventor of the jelly shop makes. He makes music and he... What? Piss and repeat over and over like 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't think I ever reached drunk. I can drink like I inherited my dad's alcoholism, but I never got to the point that I would consider... That's so... That's sad, I would say, but good for you, Caliber, because I really hate being drunk. It was really annoying. I get super ADHD when I'm drunk. What does that mean? You get, like, scatterbrained? That happened to me once. That would make me drink less. No! I wouldn't like drinking glass. No! Me when... Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Folks, I know many of you agree, which is why we've started shelling the city. But is a way back really possible? The answer is yes. We fight to restore a legitimate cli climate, a bold figure ready to reclaim the vacant thrones of history. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the last descendant of Charlemagne, the present king of France, the dolphin. <laughs> now, under all your seats, you'll find your baronial cornets and a loaded pistol. Pardon me, excuse me, sorry, sorry, there's a bathroom break in here. Haha, <laughs> it's definitely getting to be that stage of the party where sticking around is an increasingly poor decision. At least nobody brought a guitar. Uh, you used to be a happy drunk, but never again though, real. Tom Lehrer is the inventor of the jelly shots and also made music such as Poison Pitches on the Park. <gasps> I should check it out soon, that sounds funny. I've been making lots of friends here, so we'll be okay. This is the power of new BB. All I have to do is inform the others and then stylishly, dynamically hide under a pile of coats somewhere. Oh, poisoning. Got you. Um, hold on. Where are my friends? Uh, I thought I told you to stay out of my dad's room. Man, take it easy. It's a party. Did you think you caught a spy or something? <laughs> That's right. Confess your crimes is no good. She's too tough. Hee <laughs> hee. We need to bring her to a black site for enhanced interrogation. Hem. Uh. No, that's okay. Fuck. Hey, that looks fun. I love army games. You know, my uncle was a soldier in one or our other in one of our inscrutable wars of occupation. He told me what they do to prisoners they caught. Now, how about you be the insurgent? And I'll be the defender of humanistic values. Uh, the chat is this Riz? Ah! <laughs> hee, don't worry. I used to practice this on rats. Open wide. What happened? Well, I guess we blew up a power st station. Don't worry, the backup generator will come on in just a second. Faker glass hold blood nightmare torture run fast killer slash humanistic values. Riz so strong you have to flee. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Don't they know who I am? I am the real built BB. Oh, they really, 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 really want me dead here. I love the artistic direction in this game. Oh, this is such a unique style. It really is, and I love it for. Oh my fucking god, it's you again. The old rights have been restored. Welcome back to the era of feudal mystery and caprice. Oh, uh, for a second, we are figuring out who gets to go first. So, a marquis higher or lower than an earl? How can you tell if you really if you're related to a duke? Scooting off. I didn't mean to get caught. Fucking hell! There's a BB chasing after me, and I think this is a dead end. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm so smart. Hello. But yeah, um, where were we last time? Uh, I think we were here. We were up here. Upstairs is always good, except if the camera can't follow it. That's awesome, too. We were here. I think this is a dead end. No, this is a dead end. Uh, you'd eat sand and shit glass. Ew! Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. I got this. I got this. There's always an exit button somewhere. Left or right? Right! Thank you for the 10 bits! 10 bits. Have, you, have you tried to make friends at a party? Only then for it to be a murderous cult. You know, I did try. But you know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has flaws. All that stuff. It happens to the best of us. Tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. This is a circle, isn't it? Run, bitch, run! <laughs> I like the way you said that. That's very funny. 
Okay, stairs are good. Stairs are good when you're going down. It's not in a circle. I'm in a circle. I'm in a time loop. I'm in a goddamn time loop. Hold on. Up is good. Stay up. Ha! How did BB get all the way there? Maybe BB is supposed to catch me. No. I can't let BB catch me. Money making, money making, money making. Ah! Howdy. It's me, BB. Zin, zin, zin. I don't sound like that. I've never said howdy. Gee, there's a lot of these things in season. Let's cut the next one in half and see if it multiplies. Fuck! Okay. So I'm guessing that, uh, that they're getting fucking confused on which one's the real BB, and I think that's so funny. BB can catch me. Trust fall challenge. This is not it. Where, where the fuck do I find the right door? There's stairs right down there. I already went through these stairs. Uh, I wish I can turn around the camera. Is it here? I haven't gone here before, right? I have. Have I gone here? Have I gone here? Have I gone here? No. Anyways, uh, I don't see any murders, so... Leaves! I haven't gone here! That door! I did it yet! The illustrious, the illustrious protagonists of history have been de decanted from their amber tombs to the point as the figureheads of the world that is to come. More water time. Absolutely more water time. Of course. Anything for you, Pickelnik. Preserved. It's dark. Through the long years at the bottom of the grease trap. I broke the game. Uh, buckets of various regional fast food franchises. Nurtured and replenished by the vital oils. That is not dead. Which is, what the fuck am I reading? That's a little too wordy for me, Chad. No offense, but my brain is incredibly slow, small. Also, how the fuck has it already been one hour since I got my water break? And it's already like four minutes until the advertisement starts. Anything for me? Then stop being amazing. Can't stop, right? I knew it. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say I'd grant miracles. Pun. Yeah, it's almost already like two hours into the stream. I can't believe it. Hold on, there's gonna be a way up here. Uh, no. But if I go here, I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing right now. Uh, do I go here and then left? I think I broke the g door. There it is. There it is. I'm stupid. Here. Screech! Wait a second. Is that the amazing, most badass, coolest gamer of eSports? It is! Welcome! Jump, jump, jump! I can't because this is usual for when I show up. <laughs> what? Well, miracles, right? Crunch! And who do we have here? Why? It's Napoleon the Third. The bitch is back. A fine vintage crunch. Cr Ugh, this crunching sound. Is anyone else sensitive to like crunching sounds? And over here is Anastasia, the wittiest Romanov. She looks pretty picked clean already. Nobody will notice another quick bite. Ah, uh, fresh meat. God damn it. And I have even less visibility. Fuck! Don't worry, Chad. I got this. 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 Believe in your streamer. Believe in me. Believe in me. Depends on the crunch. I'm not really sensitive to a lot of stuff. Fuck! Holy shit! Gameplay! What does this thing do? Nothing. Hold on. Hold on. Time to show all my platforming skills. Um. There you go. The game won't let me jump. That's so weird. Jump. There you go. Jump. There you go. Watch this. Watch this. Hiya! Fuck. Why didn't it let me jump? That's so weird. Um. Oh no, it's a cuphead tutorial. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not a game journalist. 
Leave me alone. Okay, hold on. I, I got this. I got this. Fuck. I won't. It, it doesn't make me jump on command. Like, it doesn't let me. I think the game kind of forces. Why the fuck won't it let me jump? Oh, anyways, how, hello, Rexodiac. Uh, Diac. Welcome. How are you doing? Hold on. I want to let me... Hold on. Maybe it's because it's for controllers. Oh, that's why. No. Why didn't it let me before? That's so weird. Anyways. Okay, okay. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Jump. Jump. No, not you, Chad. One, two, three. Hiya. 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 There you go. I'm doing it, Chad. I'm doing it. Fuck! God! Damn! Jump! 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 Alright, we're doing it, chat. One, two, three, yeah! Guys, my leg is asleep. Ah, fuck! You know, video games really did make us do it. But nobody will ever believe you. And the fucking video games of choice is Racing Lagoon and Neo Mr. Dew. Crunch! Please stop bludgeoning us with that. That was a rare mint inbox copy of Mario's Cemetery Factory. Oh, sorry. Cement Factory. Gee, I guess instead of Dark Souls, we should have gotten good at murdering women. Whatever happened to Games for Change? What's Games for Change? Uh, man, that party sucked. Where'd everyone disappear to? Let's all just tune in early so we're fresh to Mario. Psst. Is she taller than before? I wasn't really uh, paying attention, but apparently... That's the new BB. You know, that really is a great costume. I'm a big fan of the BB movies. But do you think it's a cheat that she never really seems to die? I mean, really die? That's a hot girl earlier! Oh, fuck. There's a break. VOD viewers skip to two hours. <laughs> you guys are so silly. We will stop for the ad- Jesus Christ, time is going on super fast right now. I don't know if you guys think that too, but for me, I don't know. Let me tell you guys about the BTK killer. Uh, from an article I'm reading on. Cause do you guys know about the BTK? Rip VOD viewers. <laughs> ah, BB is a schizo. BB is so, so precious and nice. Everyone wants to be her. Can you slow the hell down? Oh, seven viewers. Get to 0.5 speed now. <laughs> Nope, don't know about them. Okay, let me read this again because I don't... I vaguely remember the details, but not really. Uh, I, I remember details of different murders, but I keep mixing them together. I think the BTK murderer was... A serial killer who was all over Kansas. No, not BTS. BTK. But yeah, celibacy. Living a double... Yeah, he was a guy who was a double life at least as a devoted family and company man by day. Raider brutally murdered 10 people. His nicknames represent the methods of binding, torturing, and killing vi victims. Not BTR. Uh, 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 uh. I thought it was a BLT joke. No, it's a BTK. It's a murder and a BT BLT joke. Abby, would you let a hot girl dissect you while you're awake? Oh, uh, can't say I can because I, as much as I love hot girls, I don't want them to see my insides. I get really nervous thinking about that. Plus two, that was good. BTK, like BTS is evil twins. This was a real murder. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Yeah, I remember because he like disappeared from his murder spree just to live a normal life. And then he came back to it, but he was like, I think fucking 60 years old. And I think that's why he got caught or he confessed. One of those things. Yeah, he confessed. It's the sip time. Thank you for the hydrate, Biku. I appreciate that a lot. We're doing our um, ad break right now, which will end soon. I'm reading about it right now. And apparently he was apparently a normal kid. Except for the fact he liked hanging stray animals. Which is always like a big red flag that they're going to be murderers as, a, as an adult. Do you guys really want to be a cool murderer if you had to do that as a kid? No, I don't think so. He got caught because he's old? I think so. It was something like that. Um... He 
confessed because he was 60? My name would be the obvious. No, don't do that. I'm going to have the FBI have evidence of my murders on stream. It, it'd be like, how come she always enters stream, even though she's American, in uh, the evening hours? According to our statistics, the murders happen between this hour and that, when she would hop off of stream, as the kids would say. Okay, um... Yeah, so the stupid guy placed a letter and gave it to the public library. No, yeah. He, um... He confessed it in a public library book. Where he, like, put a bookmark of who... of his murders in it. And then... It was described as the poorly written note. Gave authorities some ideas of who they're dealing with. And a local newspaper began covering the story. So he already, like, kind of narrowed down his location. It's hard to control myself. You probably call me psychotic with sexual perversion hangups. Why would he become a murder killer as an aspiration? Hides body with feet badly. <laughs> You're like tucking away the body under your bed. I mean, you did say cool murder. That's true. I did say that. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm safe. Nobody reads books. <laughs> it's me, Jeff the Itchy the Killer. <laughs> I would be Jeff the Killer. Who the hell is Itchy? So dude just self-reported. Yeah, guy was kind of like in it for the fame. And I think that's how he got like caught up because um like I think a fingerprint was in one of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh hold on, let me read it. Let me read it. Yeah, he dropped off the map as Raider focused on Yeah, he became a working family man. Holy shit, he was not good at hiding his murder tendencies even when he was offline. Because, like, it says here that he was known to be a stickler for the rules. He measured the height of people's lawns and chased stray animals while toting a tranquilizer gun. And he took pleasure in exerting his limited authority over his neighbors and other members of the community. That's so funny that this guy just kept being such a murderer. So he was a gamer. No. But I think he would have loved Call of Duty if he was in the, the current society. Killers have an ego problem. They do. They do. And it's so funny. Itchy is a hyper gory anime slash manga slash movie about a silly killer being manipulated by gangsters because he's good at killing. <laughs> That's so funny. I bet he thought that Itchy thought he was on top of the, the mafia, but he's not. He's an HOA, Karen? Yeah, so if you guys have any of those in your neighborhood, watch out to see if they have any tendencies to want to get rid of animals in apartments. That could be signs they might be a psycho killer. Yeah, he sent out local uh, media outlets several letters filled with items related to his crimes, including pictures, a word puzzle, and an outline for the BTK story. Um, however, they noticed his Jeep... Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, investigators noticed he's deep on security tapes and some of the package drop off areas and cemented their case by attaining a dna sample from raider's daughter <gasps> oh so he was just really bad at giving hints and then he got arrested anyways enough about that americans be like <laughs> yeah anyways awful about the crimes he did uh, vic uh victory for the victims uh this guy is so crunch can we be obsessed with like, I don't know, building a good society? Yeah, why are people so interested in killing and stuff when they can like go out and pick up litter from the beaches? Or better yet, kill people who litter in general. Or VTubers. Yeah, that's also a good one too. Anyways, um, headless, limbless, torso washes up on the beach. So chopped apart, they need a specialist to tell what species they is. It used to be style kind of thing. <laughs> You know, sometimes a DVD comes with little feedback cards inside. I was thinking about making my own cut. Yoink! Hello. Oh my god, it's the cute nurses! Hi, BB! Ah! BB, we wanted you to know. We've changed our minds. Mandy and I are pro murders now. It's the hip new thing. We think it's far out. Wait, they weren't into murders before? Hold on. Why are you? What are you two even doing here? You were decapitated. You forget that we are medical experts. They say that at key moments of history, the dead can be seen walking the earth again. As though such points, the world itself has lost track of any precise distinction between who is left alive 
or why? Love thine ember or something in all different ways. No, no. Have sex is always right. <laughs> if you run into any members of the living, say hello. Tell them they don't know what they're missing. <laughs> yeah, because those guys were dead earlier. Gee, I hope none of those building apart burning apartment blocks were mine. I just got my things organized. This isn't singing. The Twitch notification told me... I'm so sorry! I forgot to update my Twitch thing again! I'm so silly, and I should be punished. <gasps> Who's this? Must be an understudy. Kid, can you fetch some Zimas? It's getting pretty hot inside these symbolist god, god monster costumes. Guys, can I grab BB here for just a second? Ah, it's such a cute little dog squeal. Act 3. Stage exit. How'd I find it? I got... Oh my god, I'm playing Doom. Um, My friend recommended it to me and... Can I shoot? Is the controls not going to work again? How do I shoot? Bamboozled by another shimmer. When does it end? Wait, what happened the first time? Yeah, yeah let's go! We're playing fucking Doom now! Die! Okay, maybe murder is kind of cool. And yes, I am making all my shots. I am such a pro gamer. Dang it, I thought that was human. LMAO Obby. <laughs> yeah, no hacks, no fucking aim assist because I'm not a pussy little bitch. Done now. What's your cool serial killer name? Um, XX Shadow underscore Darkness underscore Sombra. Yeah, the bird thing. I don't know. I guess they felt they needed a mascot. At one point, we tried commissioning a mechanical one, but there was a fire. Hey, why am I telling you this? Captive audience. Ha! Hey, it's Mappy. Hiya, kid. Hiya, hiya. Boss, the new act seems like a terrific success. The common cards are in, and they read, help me. Aye! Yeah, Shadow, Darkness, Sombra, XX. Walking through with no enemies shooting you all. I'm such a pro gamer. <laughs> well, that's because they're so scared of me. Wait, why are you all even trying to accomplish? Like, is this a coup? I kind of thought the theater controlled the city already. Actually, we're all more like contract workers. The owners of the city have managed to insulate themselves so well against history that they no longer believe that it exists. But they still dream about it. And in the depths of their seclusion, Dreams resemble nightmares. A tangled process of ceremonies and masks, conspiracies and motiveless coops and murderers in hidden rooms. And so that's where what we stage for them, day after day, to soothe them in their dreaming business. How do you like our sign? History is a nightmare and loving it. And handing out rifles and handing out rifles to drunk college grads. It gets them involved. They feel like a part of the process. Hee <laughs> hee. And it's not like we're completely irresponsible, see? These are prop guns? Oh, I guess I was wrong. Hee hee hee. Boy, what a party. Wolfman, come back to me. You did this, didn't you? I am tied to a chair. Yes, but it all makes sense now. You were here when the night college was wiped out. And when our supply warehouses in that hick town burned down? Have you been after my job from the start? You even took over my favorite movie franchise. This was supposed to be my side hustle. Now they're the baby movies. And nobody remembers who directed the first one. I don't even get right onto us! Well, bitch me neither! I don't get fucking nothing for any of this shit! Don't blame me! Blame the capitalistic society that wants to be both a bitch about copyright but also will not be able to allow any of us to own the rights to ourselves. Uh, leaving us into a weird uh, state of uh, battle between wanting to police ourselves or and wanting the freedom to express it. Hey, ah! Oh, yeah, you got me! Uh, you, I'm done for! Nice try. Incidentally, delivery like that is why you only got two lines in the civic play. Yeah, well, I never even wanted to be in, in your corny play. I had my own plans for that week, my own cultural ambitions, but nobody ever bothered to ask me what they were. What were your ambitions, BB? I wanted to do a color issue! Don't you point that thing at me, young lady! Yeah! Kill! What 
did I just say? Kill! No! BB wants death! You see, that's how you do a death scene. Pity you grabbed the prop sword. Situational awareness is very important in this line of work. Crash! What's worse than being stabbed in a knife? Being tossed down the stairs. Well, what are you staring at? Help me, would you? My goodness. What do we have down here? I am Basso, you idiot! Basso! No, I don't think so. Director Basso is right here. But you don't look anything like her. So where's BB in all this? I wonder why Basso hasn't caught back up yet. I hear people moving behind curtains on both sides. A soft grunt, the scrape of props, low creaks of old ropes and winches. Isn't it a little late to be changing the sets? What the hell is this game, dude? It's a fun time! You s uh, no royalties. You know, being in the arts, it really leaves a lot of questions of who owns who. And, like, what points you allow someone to do things for the me- <gasps> The police! Ah! Restrict the police by area! Prepare to die! Hold up, fellows. This one isn't wearing a mask. Are you undercover? Say something in cop! Um, 10-4! Spread him! Oh my god, it's a mirage! Telling you all, it's a- This one. Checks out. It feels real good to be out of those dog outfits. They were the ones in the dog outfit? Damn it, never mind then. Also, I love that stupid little thing where they reference that art piece that I only know. Indeed, does art even belong to the artist? Who is to say, perchance? I mean, I believe that it does. But, at the same time. There's a certain point. Whatever. The internet has, has like, ruined all ideas of copyright. Look, guys. I made a necklace out of ears. Creativity is what makes us humans. That's... That's really gross. Bah! Outmoded iconography. No place for you in police theater. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Police own the theaters. Do some aesthetics count as crime? Hear me out. I'm workshopping some new ideas. You mean the one Prometheus eating his kid? Yeah! And once again, we are met with fine art. Where there's Venus out and Bobby's out. Hello? Ooh. Um, mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. We got him! No, wait, hold on. Le mission accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! Um, is there an exit around here? I want to guard it. First, we have to report you to the CEO. The crucial stage is yet to come. Hey, good work, guys. Looks like you've managed to catch a dangerous criminal. Uh, we did? Yes, indeed. Bibi here has been person of interest ever since the case of the Mysterious Theater a few months back. I wasn't sure whether you guys remembered that. It's been a busy period, but I'm sure we would have gotten around to you eventually. Boss, we found the thing. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's take a walk. You might notice some de new decor around here. We've been fo forced to put the theater under police control following the attempted uprising of armed killer. Who gave those guys real ammo anyways? Well, we did. Oh, <gasps> plot twist. Why are we getting closer to the chainsaw noises? You might, uh... We have great things planned in the first season of Police Theater. Now I know what you're thinking. Young people want their serial killers to have more of an unlicensed indie feel. I used to be pretty alternative myself. Check out my K-Record shot to you. You, the police manager, the police force, working for the machine now? Say it ain't so. That never happens. Anyways, back here. I love all these guys little saluting in there. I think it's a cute detail. You see... Basso always thought she was the only one who knew where to find the owners. But she was wrong. They told me too. Whispering through the st static of my dr Dick Tracy communicator. Wow, that's so funny. That's how I know the city tires of an age of horror. And dreams instead about an age of law. Isn't that good news? Where's the tattoo, huh? I bet it's in his ass. Sometimes I feel so happy I can't stand myself. When I am too full of joy, I think of how good, little good my health did anyone near me. Come on near, boss. Police dog, follow the trail here! Bark, bark, bark. Leon Kennedy aged awfully. Good lord, he turned pink. 
Should I give him a Leon? Ke Wait, you meant Leon Kennedy and not stupid uh, John F. Kennedy. Ayara. What is that? Civil legitimacy. Blood her. Ew! Just a precaution. Killers go crazy for the smell of blood. Now, you go first and we'll watch and see what happens to you. Sorry, guys. I only follow indie murderers. I don't like corpo murders. Yeah, when they're run by the police force, you know they got some industry plant somewhere. The air in here has a sour out aftertaste of someone's breath. Vain slowly in the walls. Are these the corridor of powers that everyone's talking about? We don't need a running commentary. I don't know enough about John F. Kennedy, president, to make jokes about it. Damn it! You never watched Clone High? That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter. I don't want those things to touch me. We're almost done with this uh, act three. I don't know why ever since I've been playing these games, they just make me sleepy. I think it's the fact I have to yap like the most in this game than anything else, which I don't mind. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Whoa! That's such a funny moment. Man, if I live through this, I'm going to climb into a bathtub and never get back out. At least I've decided what I'm doing with myself after college. Just take a nice long bath. The new, the old clone high. Behold, the marble temples of the law. Now keep going forward, or I'll shoot you in the head. Ah. You know, when I was younger, the history of the world seemed like an endless series of police actions. All of those squashed peasants' revolts, interminable, in interminable centuries of torture, beheaded. I thought, well, how did people back then put up with all of it? Surely they must have been tougher than me. Must have had different bodies, ones that couldn't feel as much pain. I sure would have been a haven't been able to live out like that. Not for me, not for a moment. And so I joined the police for it because I was so sensitive. When British man doesn't watch show about American history, people and Gandhi somewhere. There's not really. There's only like Abe Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, and then everyone else is like the Joan of Arc. There's Cleopatra. There is um that. What's his name? Picasso guy, right? Uh, and it's silly. It's not like they do like, oh, I get it. You're making a reference. No, they make references to other funny things. A new clone hide? Yeah, but no one really likes it as much, so I've heard. Because they couldn't have Gandhi. Uh, wow, when did you get taken at gunpoint? Don't these guys know that wasp hold grudge? <laughs> True! Meow! I'll come back with my stinger one day, and I'll destroy their asses. I think. Hold on. Why isn't it progressing? Hold on, did the game crash? Oh, there it is. Look at me leading all these men. Like, I'm the leader. Yeah, we all miss Gandhi. Anyways, look at this guy. I wonder if I can, like, group them together and make them go, like, a little silly. Ah, they're walking on top of each other. This game is so cute. I love this game. So I became a cop and quickly realized there was no such thing as sensitivity that everybody could be made to feel the same degree of pain. Ha! <laughs> and history seemed to be a nightmare, worse than before. And I thought, great, amazing, I've matured now. For sure, I've really grown up. Now I've peered into the true depths of suffering that makes up the world. I'm stoic realistic. At least now I just know how bad it gets. I have no idea what I'm reading into this for. Jesus is in the original? I don't remember that. Haha, <laughs> oops. And every time I said that, I'd find out the truth was worse. Worse and worse. An ocean of blood that went down forever. And as I looked into it, I discovered the higher dimension to the police force. I found out that the capacity of happiness was finite, while the capacity for misery was infinite. All that waiting in the bottomless pit of infinity was the unspeakable policeman known as God. If you wanted a universe of bottomless artificial suffering, you could have stayed home and played video games. This way, I also get a pension. Well, here we are. I wondered where everyone is. I get it. They're busy people. City founders. They'd probably want us to let ourselves in. God is kind of the ultimate cop. Please attend. Please attend. You see, they're calling us up already. A grand new age of municipal cooperation is about to begin. Is that my college professor? Oh god, this is embarrassing. Please attend. 
Cuff, cuff. Did you all do your reading? The marble tombs are oddly brittle, slick, and wet to touch. Who wants to meet anyone who lived here? It's like walking through a tonsil stone. With any luck, that guy's too busy spilling to himself to even notice I got away. The more I see of this place, the more half-bazardly it seems put together. Stately column pi piled in heaps. Buildings with no doors or windows. I guess it's the old style, but it really feels more like walking around a... Uh... Uh... Furniture showroom. Cough, cough! Hey, hey, please sit down. Make yourselves at home. You all are the young leaders of tomorrow. What the fuck is this? Just remember, no cheating is allowed. Do your best. Let's start with an easy one. Question one. When was the horror genre invented in English? That's right. The answer is 1651. When Hobbes and his Leviathan boldly, boldly, fuck, boldly presupposed a terrifying universe of undirected violence, the better to contrast with the emerging condition of direct la la la. And so it was a realm of but boss, he's getting political or something. Only does it seem unfair that horror should always remain a silent partner? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my fucking god! Shut up. Wait. Is someone else? I love that he has a revolver and he's shooting at like one. It's really cool. <gasps> I thought the terrible secret buried underneath the town would be more terrible. This is the single least threatening room I've been into all day. Did I just get lost? Maybe it's a sublet? The thing is, I know from chiefly made horror talk to shock dicks, most of the stuff even my sister couldn't sell. Moldering non-union bogies flap sadly from the shadow. Yeah, revolver ocelot. You're wrong. Horror was invented in English language when I was born. I scare people. <laughs> you gotta... You, you, you just emanate... Wait, when were you born then, NCD, huh? I'm tired and covered in blood and missing my shows. I wish I even knew what layer of big city I was on by now. It's like this town was built on the images of itself instead of bedrock. And look, there's a cute little birthday cake. I walked into someone's birthday party. Sorry, excuse me. And down here is... Hi, it's here, it's here! You with the bird! Head above your head! What? It's puppets. Thank you for the voice acting compliment. I It hurts a little bit. Uh-oh. Sir? You got stuck in the fucking... Ah! Maybe if I go down here... Ew! I'm like really close to everything. This is so gross. Uh, son. What are you, a cop? Look, Shiver, you won't catch me alive. I mean, if they said that this was made in like the 1600s, then when were you born then? Owie! Look how BB cutes and looks in a little cute bowl. Being dead, not so bad. You never have to second guess yourself. To save a raw material for the grand structure of history, could there be a nobler aim? For what is surely good must be eternal and vice versa. It's been great for my career. I'm thinking of becoming a vocaloid. That's so fucking funny. Police action! Police action! Hee 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 hee. Come back here. I have more folksy monologues. The first rule of making signs is never talk to the police. I forgot that was BB's rule. That's so fucking funny. Hello? I wish I could tell if I was dead yet. It might save time. Oh, there's this cute little stairs beyond my comprehension. This is so sexy. I thought the first real horror was Frankenstein. That is a good question, but it is science fiction, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dracula existed for... Ooh, are we talking a discussion now? What are those little things coming out of his head? Can I eat it? Is it hands? Is it fries? Is it a plant? Duck! Hi! Hello! Nice to see you! Ha ha ha! Call me Baby Bird! That's right! Call me BB! Ha ha ha! Hey, I remember you! Didn't I once kill you with a shoe? Let's not dwell on the past! Ha ha ha! What's important is for the world to come! Hey! Hear it? Gorge on corpse fat, the killer prepared to regurgitate the future in his own dread image. Distracted and slow, for once vulnerable to mortal frailties. Interesting, right? 
Why are you telling me this? What do I care? I am the baby that always denies. Besides, we share a larynx once. Think of me as the still quiet voice of inner conscious. Hee hee hee. Oh, I wish you were quiet. Listen, this is just for defense. Got it? Perish the thought. Boy, I feel great. This is just what I needed. The others were just holding me back. They never appreciated my mixed CDs. I've always been the smartest one in the room. Natural authority flows from my hands like smoke. When the owners see, they'll make me king for sure. That's a life for someone sensitive like me. Columns and things, the finest shit. Am I missing context? Yes, uh, this game is a collection of anthologies of stories. So there is probably a lot of context uh, missing. I knew it! Faces from the history books. Everyone I ever looked up to. They're all living here. Living underground. They'll know me for my work. They've been waiting for me. Here! Watch out! I'm on a trail of a vicious killer! What? You too, Mr. Better watch our back! They say he hates cops to pieces! Get it? God, what am I doing? What am I doing? These guys have a high kill account in the International Monetary Fund! Why would I think I'd be able to shoot? This game is so trippy. It is. It's bad luck to pick things off the floor. Some of those corpses seem familiar. What am I doing here? Has there already been a horror film where shooting the monster ever worked? That's true. I'm gonna be honest. I find this more enjoyable if I don't know what's happening. True, because like these stories vaguely connect, but now they're connecting to each other at last the finale. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Shut up already! Don't rush me, you little shit! Where's the egg of the new? You shoot him if you're in such a hurry! But you're the very big murderer! I've never killed anyone! Intentionally, that... that I know about. But you're the very... I feel like I'm start struggling to understand what's happening, much less who is whom. And I binge watch Markiplier's three scary game playlists basically every week. Um, BB was in a movie, and now they destroyed the idea of BB. As for what's happening around us in the background, I have no idea. <gasps> Shit's green now, let's go! The chariot of victory goes forth. Drawn by the two horses of victory, how exulting it is to fall under its wheels. Behold, the counter world is born. Opposite of all that is, the, tr the death in life it looks pretty much the same as before actually just in different colors that's a negative for you still glimpse on moonlight reflecting unchanging in mathematical terms it's technically an inverse cuff cuff and that's it everything you guys did you remade the world and the only thing you wanted to change about it was the color scheme well sure what else is there are you all stupid? Listen. Look, it's not good to be too critical. You shouldn't meddle with the laws of history. Darwin and stuff. Private water park enterprise. So, are we all dead? How would anyone be able to tell? And now, BB is all alone. I think I got the bad ending. I'm not sure I can get used to being a blonde. <laughs> That's so fucking dorky. I love it. And now we're at the epilogue chapter. This is one of the longest, second longest chapter besides the other one we played. Spoilers, but Halloween. Myers gets shot out a window. He survives, but he stopped. Halloween 2, shot in the eyes and exploded. Stopped for at least a year. Boom. There's two horror movies where the shooting the villain actually works. But even then, they always come back. Dear Zizi, how are you? I am well. I hope you are having fun at the convention. What is a Toto? What is a Toho? In my opinion, you picked a good weekend to get out of the city. Oh, I love that Toho with reference. Toho mentioned? Strangle Man. Mr. Strangle Man. Strangle Man Jr. Gore Vidal. First person shooter. Lady Monstro Damus. Sar Nickel. Oh my god, fucking the second Sar. The exquisite corpse. Hyper Chop. And returning, Director Basso. Bazo, you're looking well. Divulge us to your skincare secrets. A life in art keeps the spirit young. Things are otherwise pretty much back to usual, or possibly more so. After that first night, the new colors began to fade. But maybe I just got used to it. 
Nobody else seems to notice that something happened, so I've been tr keeping track of all the changes in my zine. Circulation continues to drop rapidly. Tammy is now a fitness center. Certain types of cereal rebranded. Sexy cream M&M now wearing hooded rubber boots and promotional material. Animatronic skeleton from Judas Priest's Turbo Lover, now secretary for the interior. Let's go! This game is art. It is, and it's beautiful for that. I'd like to think Toho existed in the underground uh, world, or in the upside, in the opposite world that uh, we are in now. Dun dun. Now it's the same thing song as the. Uh... Anyway, since downtown is still partly on fire, I've had to call in an arcane family favor and have been sitting with Aunt and Uncle YY and our cousins in the suburbs. <gasps> Holy shit, yeah, her house got burned. Much conversation concerns current events. The first night there, Aunt and Uncle said. What was happening had been no surprise given the way things were going these days. ICP should also be co-president of the USA. What the hell is ICP? Holy shit, the insane clown posse! <laughs> I'm an idiot. How did I not know that? How did you guys know that? The second night, our cousins showed up to dinner wearing bird masks and said they've gotten into a podcast which explained why everything that's been happening on, that's been going on was good. On the third night, I found all the knives in the house have been sharpened. Aunt YY kept on weighing me and our uncle from re reading from a cookbook called To Serve Man, so I've been trying to get out for walks as much as possible. I think we, I should run the world and kill people I don't like. I think I, sh I agree with this policy. I know exactly who you should not like. The suburbs are fine, but all the right angles throw me off. It's like living in a crossword puzzle and not being able to see any of the clues. Trying to detect a secret order in 200 streets named after streets, uh, trees. And so quiet and still that it's like even the houses are asleep. What do the suburbs dream about? I haven't been here long enough to say. Hopefully it's something good. Finally. A political view in an art form spoken to us about how suburbs are just houses, houses, and houses. And the gates here look familiar too. The backyards are fenced away, but at bits you can look through. And glimpses and glimpses of new place, open and uncertain, in the chance intersection of a wall, a roof, a vacant lot. As though still folded up inside the world, there was a different kind of negative. Anyway, I will leave you all on that peppy image. Enjoy the convention and don't worry about me here. After all, the one good thing about history is probably the worst of it is over. Sincerely, your correspondent BB. Press escape to close the report. And then we exit to the loader. Chad, how are you feeling? I've been feeling a little sleepy. Um, the ads aren't going to start yet, but I kind of want to take a nap break. In a perfect world where I will be able to wake up in my alarm, I would love to be really funny and have a 10 minute ad run for a 10 minute uh, nap. I think that'd be so fucking funny. Ah, yes, the average Midwestern tea. BB, you've got to go on and make some Midwestern emo. It's in your fucking destiny. How does it go? But it's only been two hours and 40 minutes. I know, I know, but I'm so fucking weak, chat. I don't know why I've been sleeping not so good and my body is being affected because of it. How dare it? Anyways, we're on the last chapter, chat. We're in the heart of the killer. Looking at this poster, it's really interesting. A lot of the soft outlines in there. A lot of, oh, that's a hot lady in the background. Um, and then there's that lion in there. There's a man being multiplied and some guys with eyes. We're not finishing. We are, we are, we are. We're even gonna finish the extra rooms. Life should get me, should let me be able to make Midwest emo and get paid for it. <gasps> Heart of the killer, I'm getting married. Baby has found the love for life. I'm so, I'm so excited for this chapter now. Sometimes when I wake up, there's a moment where I don't know who or where I am. <laughs> the cloak of habit falls away. I look around. I'm in an alien land. 
a distant country full of objects whose use will remain forever unknowable to me. And then I get up and move over to the window. Oh! I love that noise so much. Where the fuck am I? It turns out I'm still in the dream resort after all. Well, part of sleeping in a different bedroom is feeling like you might wake up as someone else. I'd better start my round in case it turns out I'm still myself after all. Oh, I wonder why Bibi's not in her house or the cousin house. Outside, it's just another indistinguishable, perfect summer day. Nothing is stirring within any of the other buildings of the compound. Isn't there anyone in here who has to dust? <laughs> what a dorky little thought she has. Uh oh. Man, I wish they at least served breakfast with these. Hold on, can I actually write on this? Yes, I can. Outside looks off. Hi, Spastastic. How are you doing? That's my best attempt at a smile. Let me do it again. I can do it again. Uh, what did you dream about last night? I... What's that disavowal mean? I know what erotic means. Collecting plastic figures. Being chased around. Memories of particular basements. Multiple basements. Face you can no longer recall. Arguments. Warehouse. Other. How did you feel about sleep? I like it. How would you describe your condition on walking? Very refreshed, haunted by half-remarked visions, groggy, requires this and uh-oh. Have you seen this person? Think carefully. No, never. Hello, Avi and chat. This about equals the denial of any responsibility or support or something. Repudi repudiation. Thank you, Jax. A new world of exciting wallpaper greets me from behind the door. I guess they're still coming in to redecorate while I'm asleep. Today's style is a standby pop art basement. It does look like I'm in an ice cream, like a Napoleon ice cream. The dresser drawers are varnished shut and can't be opened, possibly for insurance liability reasons. Stock photos of smiling faces stare down at me from atop the shelf. Hell, who needs to think? I'm into that, brother. It's getting harder to tell how long I've been staying. For a while, I kept a tally, but someone else seems to have been adding to it lately. The little pipe's a nice touch to it, though. Yeah, Neapolitan ice cream. That's what I was thinking. The sofa's covered in some hard, waxy substance that makes it impossible to lie down on for any length of time. Is this placeholder furniture or could it be interior designer? God, I hate when I lay on a couch and it's just waxy for some reason. Outside in the corridor, it's quiet, but the sound of distant elevators moving up and down behind the walls. I have to assume things will be less creepy here once this place is actually open for business, but it's hard to say for sure. The other rooms are already boarded up. It seems like a bit much as a security measure, but I guess it's nice to take a break from the overall fro fro deck in this place. My poor baby EBBB is so innocent. Hi, Helena, how are you doing? We're playing a silly little game. As ever, the dial up while you secretly bolted to a table at the end of the hall. I have no idea what any of the buttons do because I refuse to touch it and find out. Chat, who would you guys call? I would call Carlos. Maybe Dave. Mike looks funny. Bob looks too old. Carlos and Dave look like the perfect in-between. What do you guys choose? I'm so sleepy. Um, I need to hit up Carlos. <laughs> what a funny statement. Carlos? Anyone else? Not even Paul? No one likes Mike? When Napoleon wasn't fighting in wars, he was eating ice cream. Yeah, why was it named after him? Fuck that guy. Can we call your mom? My mom isn't a boy you can dial, but nice try, buddy. While I haven't ever seen another person since I got here, I should still probably change out of my pajamas before I go to work. Maybe they're waiting for me to slip up. Anything else I can do here? No. Okay, we'll go out to see if there's any doors I missed because I think I did. Uh, unless the dial a boy helped. Nope. Nope. That's it. Um. Dave's got the smile, though. Dave does have the smile. But Carlos is more in touch with his feelings, you know? Of, of course, of course I know, of course. The dressing room feels like a big stuck inside a wardrobe. The air is still and heavy, as if smothered by too many coats. But I would love a walk-in closet like this, except minus the fact that there's... Uh, sweaters on top of it. Well, I'd better see what my options are today. 
eve with ornate frocks and gowns expensive looking but weirdly out of style like they were pillaging in bulk from an abandoned prop warehouse well at least that would explain some of the scenes oh god a theater kid pissed in this hello spot how are you doing i'm a little bit sleepy and we're playing a nice game a nice little walking game with a bunch of really cool art stuff what the spruce hello spot decisions decisions <gasps> can i customize it man that's sort of preppy is that my only option no i like this mint one it'll do but maybe it's for the best and nobody will actually see me in these behind me something slides beneath the door I beat the Elden Ring DLC, so I'm... <gasps> Let's go! I heard that thing was really hard. How long did it take you? Waiter! Waiter! Why is there piss in my soup? My favorite are clothes that make me feel girl CEO. I don't like murder victim as good, but fast casual is also good. In my new outfit, I feel more or less likely to achieve my goals. I feel like more or less likely to find love. I feel likely to walk into the forbidden... Yep. And I feel more likely to that my body will be will ever be found. Absolutely. I mean, can you ignore my fashion statement I'm making right here? I've never caught a glimpse of whoever leaves those forms around. Maybe it's for the best. I'm never sure if I'm supposed to tip in these kinds of situations. The elevator descends, carrying me further into the complex. As I delicately partake of the coffee and muffins up inside, I think back to the events which brought, first brought me to this place. Flashback! Oh, not yet at least. You played it for two weeks? Jesus Christ! <gasps> Holy shit, am I Snake? Hey, it's Agent BB. What's up, boss? I've decided to resign my commission as a mystery shopper. Oh my god, it's all this for a fucking mystery shopper. It was fun at first, you know. Paid to roam around the shopping district, looking for things that didn't fit, empty aisles, furniture that looked off-brand. Each discovery seemed charged with secret meaning, a hidden transmission from the heart of the mall. Do you have nothing better to do? Would you like to make some money? Mystery Shoppers Inc. joined today! Look, I love that you can even move in here. It's so, so funny. I love it. Um, is there anywhere in particular I can go to? That's what I'm trying to find. The real heart of the mall is the coffee shop. So true, unless it's Starbucks. Then, uh, you know that mall is gonna be dead soon. I need my fuel. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to like, look around and see an eye. Or maybe this thing? This thing. I started to like the feeling of being somebody else. A name nobody knew. A secret agent invested with the myster mysterious authority of the consumer. A passport to the frozen world of window display. That all from that side, maybe something from the corner. But I also love how BB is walking with her cute little arm animation. She's so adorable. God, I love BB. But I can't find the other eye. Hello. I need to wake up, Chad. I need to wake up. My eyes are going to sleep. You're hyper-focused. Where is it? I can't find it. I can't find it, Chad. Is it down these stairs? Sorry, sir, but we can't help people who are already dead. <laughs> That's so true. Starbucks is so overpriced. So if you want to order one coffee... You're going to have to get a cardboard box for the rest of your life. Also, look how thick of mode uh, BB is in this outfit. It's so cute. I love BB to death. There it is. Door, door, door. I think if you're trying too hard to focus that your body's response telling you to sleep. No, I don't need to sleep. I'm streaming. But soon as I had second thoughts about the work, about renting my senses to the highest bidder, as if not, my, as if not even my perceptions were really my own, a tool of store surveillance, a private eye, I started dreaming about being pursued through strange malls. I figured I couldn't quite see. Having signed up for store credit schemes on terms I knew I'd never be able to afford. No, baby! Is that so? Well, that's a shame. I was about to contact you about this new lead I am in. Peaceful seclusion resorts seek sample guests. Must be comfortable with free room, bored in solitude. Exciting decor. 
competitive pay. How about it? One more job? One more job. Surprisingly, it's all been going fine. Although I'm sure not, still not sure exactly what resort it is or what you do when to get one. It seems to involve a lot of statues. And now we're fucking stuck in this loop forever now, BB. You idiot. Some things are not worth the price anymore. Room is so dense with ornaments that it's easy to feel lost within them. Or like an ornament yourself. Is this place just a fantasy camp for people that dream about turning into furniture? <gasps> I'm the one being surveillanced. I guess the real question is why they're lodging me here to begin with. Given that I'm not exactly the target audience for a place like this. Although I can't imagine who would be. For the courageous, there's a pool out in the open courtyard. The windows of neighboring apartment. Units stare down like empty eyes from every side. Personally, I didn't bring trunks. I love that BB wears trunks. That's just a funny statement. BB just has her biddies out. Just chug the water down in the tummy and go gonna keep you up. <laughs> That's not how it works, Nayu. I would need to go pee. The weigh-in leads. The weigh-in leads through one of the specialty suits. The immense white body of the marble horse takes up most of the space in the room, though. Maybe I need, like, a splash of cold water to the face. Out of habit, I check the bookshelf on my way through. Gothic romances? Some kind of girl detective franchise? Couldn't find anything that fit the theme. There's gothic romance? Wait, that what does that look like? You participant survey. You de your desires at our businesses. What is your opinion on cowboys? Um, obviously I am... Fuck! Pro cowboy. Do you remember the Red River Valley? No... Sorry, chat. The thing is sled way too much. I don't know how I fucked that up. Without warning, a smiling, handsome man walks through the front door. My immediate response is going to be pleasure. Of course, it's a sexy cowboy. Does the paraphernalia, uh, does the paraphernalia of cattle ranching hold emotional meeting? Um, prefer not to say. I can't tell you what I want the, the cowbells to resemble. What the cowbells do to me. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw this redeem. It's okay, you're good. Water poisoning is going to kill the streaming. <laughs> no, no, I'm too strong for that. Next is the exhibition hall, set up to allow guests to live out their fantasies of being lost in a boutique furniture showroom. The velvet drapes away slowly in the breeze from the AC. Ideals for living! Dreamland furniture collection coming soon to the finest store near you. Mass production pending follower user feedback trials. Well, I say it sucks. It's just a bunch of blanketed sheets over things. Mike. Fuck. Bob. Yeehaw. The Rootin' Tootin' CEO enjoys lasso, ro yodeling, and late nights among the planes. He said to be looking for his very own sweetheart of the rodeo. Paul. The artist of the board. Paul's creative instinct shines in the marketing department. He's brooding but deep. With the muse, will a muse allow him to compete his master masterwork at last? And Carlos is upside down! And Carlos, the zany one. Carlos can be identified by his catchphrase, hamburgers. Mmm. But does his easygoing demeanor hide a sensitive soul? <gasps> Carlos might be sensitive. Tom, representative of the... Okay, good thing we didn't choose Tom, because HR... Representative of the HR department. Tom is also Prince Regent of the distant landlocked country of Aldonvia. With his old world with his old world charm, he's sure to treat a lady right. Hold on, I'm gonna read the uh Fuck, I keep fucking up and skipping that. Dang it. Hold on, let me do this one more time. Mike, firm but fair CEO. Business is his number one love, but could there be room for another in his heart? That's so fucking, like, alpha male description. I hate it. Hi, QB! Happy anniversary to you! I know it might be late for you, so it's already past midnight, but still! Anyways. The face in this painting seems familiar. It looks like BB, but colored differently. But no time to think about that now! There's the bell for focus group testing. I'm not sure what happens if I stop showing up, but somehow I get the feeling it's not a good idea to figure it out. I want to do the dating part already. It's so set up for that bachelor thing, but I want to do it now. Welcome to the experience room. Use left and right keys to indicate emotions. All right. 
disposable commander data Star Trek for green. Uh, desire. Oh. Roll of barbed wire. Fear. Uh oh. Corbett Lurgering Domond. Limited edition. Fear. Car crash victim. Fear. Autopsy for you. Fear. Chair made of chicken bones. Okay, it's kind of swag. Liminal photography of empty themed restaurants. Okay, that's kind of a desire. Old boxing glove on a circular saw blade. Desire. VHS player filled with chewing gum. Desire. I have a desire to clean it out. Guantanamo Bay souvenir. No, thank you. Cute, thank you. Thank you, Avi. You are precious. It is 1 a.m. Had to bed. But thank you so much for coming in and supporting. I appreciate that a lot. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I am a singing goober because um, Twitch... Uh, sorry, my mic can pick up my fans, so I have to mute it. Parts of this game feels like I'm staring at liminal spaces I've only seen in my dreams about, and I don't know how to process that. This game has some quirked up humor I really love, which is so great. I'll be no pressure, but if you don't give my boy Carlos a rose, I'll seed. I love Carlos too, so you don't got anything to worry about. Kind of shocked Avi knows what a VHS is. Of course I do. I watched um, a lot of uh, VHS tapes of Disney movies. Boy, the exam in the life really takes it out of you. All that coffee doesn't help much either. I could have sworn I found a bathroom here once. Over like a fat rat, peas in a pot. Do, do, da, do, do. Oh, God. Is someone in the... Oh, that was me singing. <laughs> I was like, who is going to be this character? But then I remembered I'm all alone. Psst. Or am I? Hello? Are you new? You must be a fellow guest reviewer. Call me Cece. In my spare time, I had a design about the strange occurrences that happened in the city. Many of which seem to revolve around an elusive figure I refer to as the murderer. Is that so? Um, are you the only other person here? Well, let me think. There's also HH, II, JG. But listen, I think I found out the truth about what's going on in this place. Oops, gotta run. But meet me here tomorrow. I'll give you the full scoop. Bye for now. I guess I should be reassured to find out I have peers. So why does it feel like it's time to skip town? Beefy scared of all bitches, man. Avi was a poor corrupt. She only had a VHS growing up instead of the OG DVD. Yeah, I didn't have the DVD until much later. <gasps> I love the setting. Beefy's just so fucking tired. Leave my girl alone to rest. Also, there is going to be an ad in about five, uh, three minutes. Don't worry, though, because if you are one of the non-subscribed grubbies, we will be sure to wait for you. I'm a little bit sleepy now. Am I a little bit sleepy? I mean, I've dozed off on stream like twice now. This somehow doesn't feel like the last level. There's bonus levels as well, but I don't think I'll play through them because these two games have been lasting me quite a while. So I think we're pretty good in here. And we're almost done with it as well. Sure, maybe we don't make sense of it, but still, it's a fun time. I love BB. Maybe you guys can try out the... Come on, go there. Wait, a dream! Must have been a dream! I don't actually remember heading back to my room last night, although I'd put that to a general monotony of days around here. Am I still even in the same building as last time? Abby, why is you eepy? Are you sleeping at night? I try! Abby, how many hours of sleep? Well, I slept at like 12 or 1, I can't remember. Then I woke up at 9 or 10. But that should just be enough, Chad. I don't know why I'm so eepy. The non-reaction to the chase. All I think about is I could outrun him. I could so outrun him. That's all I think about. The dial-up boy last night was ringing, but the call main meant... Was the call meant as a warning or a threat? The grinning and impassive faces of the boys provided no answer. Hold on, I think I'm supposed to go down here too. Uh, sorry, sorry. I think I'm supposed to go down here. Um... Explore this floor at least. I don't know what house is waiting for me. Oh, door right there. And look, I don't even have my pajamas on. Somehow I make all my way back to the bathroom. Or at least another one that looks like it. There's nobody around, but something glints at the edge of the mirror. It's me! <gasps> Holy fuck. 
Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for giving us up to QB. Look at how fucking cute my character looks. But thank you so much for giving us up to QB. I really appreciate that. I hope QB went off to bed right now. But good for them. She was like, oh, a monster. Time to go this way. Listen, I'm I'm like, they don't really let me uh, get away with monster running anymore. But when they... But, and they don't tell me when it's like, a you're supposed to die in here or anything like that. So I'm only going off of assumptions of pattern recognition, you may call it. Hello, nurse. Well, that is an eye. Hey, Anon's back. Anon has always been here because you never truly know who Anon is. And also, there's going to be an ad in 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, so I will go ahead and wait. Uh, chat, I am gonna go not take a nap. But I hope you guys enjoy your game of Word on Stream, okay? I promise I'll wake up after three minutes, alright? I promise it'll be an EP little nappy. I promise. She's not coming back. I will! Watch! But for now, you guys can play your fun little word on stream if you want. I know you guys love that game. Especially without the sexy audio. Mods, change the category to I'm only sleeping. No, don't change the category because I'll wake up soon. I have faith in Mayoshi. I'm the EP soldier, but I will win this battle. Hold on, why is it not streaming? Uh, Windows capture. I promise I'll not fall asleep. Okay, be right back. I also need a pee.
What I tell you, chat? You all thought I would fall asleep. You all thought Abby's not coming back. This is going to be the sleeping stream. But guess what? I'm awake. I'm awake. That nice nap was very good for me. I'll prove you so much that I am so awake. Oh, hold on. This thing's almost done. Exit. Yes. We need more words. The jump scare. That's my Oshi right there. Fuck yeah. You. Who fucking doubted me? Who doubted me for a second? We're on a hot streak. Go to sleep. She didn't fall into the toilet. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone's like, get out of here, wench. We got word on stream. To Holy shit, you guys got to level 21. Hell yeah, I was top three. Fuck yeah, dude. Well. No wasp, but doubt. I doubted you. Now let me doubt you more. <laughs> this game shut down my brain. What happened? I thought you were I thought you were the best one. What happened? What happened? What was you guys' ranking? You guys have to tell me because I exited out and I can't check it. Mission accomplished, soldier. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me back, homies. <sighs> Alright, back to the game. So did you guys actually did change the category mods? I don't know if the not mods can do it. I I don't know. Why did you do that? <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally opened uh, a new tab because I was trying to open up the uh, mod view. Chat, we're back to the game. We're refreshed. Don't look at that. And now, it's over. Mods, come on. It would be so funny. <laughs> no, we're not going to exit the loader. Thank God I fell asleep, chat, huh? End stream. No, that's not a redeem, and that's not something you would be able to do yourself. At least without paying me or the mods. <laughs> I don't know if the mods could end stream actually. <laughs> if they could, that'd actually be really scary because of all this horror stories about like some mods that are just out to get some streamers. You know, we are on words on. Sh Shut up. We are not. We are going. Okay, hold on. Let me change it one more time. Nah, too lazy. Let me be- let me be mod, everybody! I wanna- No! You will never be mod. Isn't it so fun being a viewer, NCD? There's some things where you're just like, if I- if I join in, it'll ruin all the fun for me. Anyways, I think they can call a raid. Oh shit, you're right then, huh? Um, uh, a table sack with documents. A familiar face looks back. Well, at least I know now that it wasn't a dream. The MBA University of Sh Chicago, Advanced Field Research Schools of the Americas, member of RAGMOP, a reclusive management consultancy that meets in a remote Swiss villa once a year to discuss forbidden business synergies. The existence of the spook has been subject to the official denial for so long that he no longer seems to possess any bodily form, requiring t the use of a large plastic bag to get around. <laughs> It's so fun being a viewer. Yeah, exactly. I hate being a viewer. I'm left doing nothing but chatting. Well, you're doing a really good job at it, NCD. Do you want us to uh, pull up the uh, graph again of the uh, number one chatters? I think you don't mind chatting in here. Can we give blah, blah, blah the artist patch? <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'll see if anything actually changed. I love you being my uh, number one chatters. I think it's so silly. Yes! Put him on the stake! All right, hold on. Oh my God, you're still number one. Hold on. According to this entire week, this is the statistic. Wow, NCD is crazy in here, dude. One thousand twelve hundred two hundred and eighty-one, and then six ninety for uh, uh, caliber. That's crazy too. Ladies is the only fourth place. Well, pause is third, fifth. That's interesting. Chicken is the seventh place. Paid viewer. <laughs> mods are cops. They're very handsome, though. Mods are the best ones. Mods are my favorite people because they can help us a lot. It's your fault. <laughs> Anyways, now we know who that guy is. How do you guys feel with your statistics today? On the table, I found a conspicuous looking keychain note. The ivy opens after dark. There's also. Wait, wait a second. I know this. This is Marcy's world. My Sea's world number one. Audiences around the world were moved by its earnest depiction of a maiden's heart. As a result, it sold like gangbusters and the fabled 1990s zine boom began. 
Marcy's World 2, on the other hand, took 10 years to come out, costing $100 million to produce and sold approximately 30 copies. That was when we knew the Golden Age wouldn't come back. I wonder what this is doing here. Doll made of synthetic hair! Apple filled with drawing pins! Intrigued or not, it's probably a good time to think about getting out of here. Princess Diana! Commemorative beanie ba- Oh my fucking god. Would you guys buy a Princess Diana beanie baby? The focus testing products seem like they're getting increasingly deranged. Beanie babies mentioned! Sea dog yaps almost as much as Avi. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is muted. Ha ha ha. I'm a professional streamer. Hello? Look at fucking BB and the way she stares. I love you, BB. She is a college graduate with a, some sort of degree in something. Ooh, I like that I kind of glow everything when I get near it. It's a very cool detail. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Hello? Hello? Can you help me? Hello? Shimmer is unmuted. <laughs> Shimmer didn't take their 30 minute power nap like they said they would. Or like we all betted she would. It's a little hard to see. Maybe I don't need to grab my stuff. Well, at least it's nice weather for a stroll. Beneath the moon, the rooftops sprawl and ramble like a pleasure garden. Behind me, I hear the creak of the bedroom door. I like that I snuck out the fucking window because I'm too nervous. Shimmer didn't bully us like we were wanting. I mean, what? <laughs> You're so silly. Is the camera guy on the floor? The camera guy took a big hog shoe as well. Avi, mean, can you go back to sleep? I'm gonna need to grind back my word game fame. No. You, you, you lost your, you lost your ranking, didn't you? And now you're sore over it. Well, that's too bad. Another questionnaire seems to be waiting on the roof. Beloved, flee! Flee swiftly to the central tower, where my secret private submarine dog underneath the compound shall whisk us both away to a new life of romance and adventure. Don't you know who this is? Look into your heart. I would also be obliged if you would fill out the departure uh, survey below. How would you rate your stay? One star. Uh, would you recommend this to a friend? No. Uh... Fresh linens. What was your favorite part of the resort? Uh, complimentary muffin service. She really liked the muffle muffin. Tonally, an abrupt step up in familiarities. I'm pretty sure I don't know anyone who owns a submarine. What's this doing on the roof, anyways? Do they get a lot of people passing through? No worry, Rex Zodiac, and no, don't, don't, do not spam. Do not spam just to get to the high ranking. It has to be natural. My fucking leg. No, I don't want to go be bored again. Enter. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of grip strength in those boneless trash bag arms, motherfucker. Go back to waving at people outside car dealers. <laughs> what are those things called? The little swirly noodles, right? Yeah, you fucking get them, BB. I mean, BB. I made it back to the courtyard pretty quick, which is surprising given how directionless this whole place seems to be. Maybe I start started nearer than I thought. I'm gonna cause a mid-toilet break then. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You do what you want, not you. <sighs> yeah! Grab his cock and twist it! <laughs> the ivy door hangs open in the dark. I didn't even need to use the key. Uh-oh. It's the it's the boys again. The boys hotline. BB, where's your friend TT and ZZ? Yeah, I wonder where they are. BB, come quick! Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, the, the beloved, the one from your dreams. I'm here in real life. I'm waiting for you. I'm in a room in the resort. How scandalous, a room in the resorts. I, I don't know how to feel about this chat. Hello? You know, you know my name. Why won't you call it? All you have to do is call. I'm counting on you. Which one am I? Reach out. I'll be there. I need you to call. Call me. Call. Call. Gosh, the guy's a little obsessed with me. Can't a woman have his moment? I said I am not touching the fucking dial a boy. Tsh. <laughs> no. On the basis of your questionnaire results, you really should have emotionally imprinted on at least one of them by now. 
Wouldn't it be helpful? Would it help if we put you on an alternate A-B test dial a girl group instead? Um, not particularly. Wait, who are... Well, it happens sometimes. We do our best to give people what they want. But sometimes there's some unfortunate soul who doesn't seem to know what that might be. Oh, I forgot the P-making redeem is limited. Yeah, it is because we used to have a spamming problem with that one because it was the cheapest one. How about we just fit you up for something off the rack? No, I'm not into this guy. This guy sucks. F to your boyfriend. Wait, the streamer is live and I didn't know. It happens. It's okay. Whoa, this place is beautiful. Pumpkin shopper. I... What the hell are the vibes? Do a jump? That was a scammer, dude. <gasps> Baby! And then I woke up in a nameless city. On, I need to be accursed. Baby, come downstairs. I made pancakes for the harvest festival. It's shaped like a house, but the proportions are all wrong. These walls and furniture seem to be bear no trace of earthly manufacturers. So why do I feel like I've seen all of this before? Can you piss more? That's what I came here for. No, you can't use a scuff alert as a bathroom redeem. I mean, as a... As a, as a water redeem. That RTX card is pulling weight. The room winds aimlessly as though misremembered from a dream. Huge function... Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the same room, huh? Huge functionless chambers branch out from the central passage and seems to contain nothing but a handful of props. Down the stairs, I glimpse at the darkened chamber sprawling out at a random far beneath the earth. Presumably, this room is used for religious ceremonies of some description. Stay hydrated. This is a threat. <laughs> oh no, whatever will you do if you make if I stay dehydrated? Well, nothing that you can do, but I could get a possible uh, kidney stone passing. Has anyone in the chat passed a kidney stone? Curious. I'm curious about that. Have you guys passed kidney stones before? IKEA 3D model or architecture assessed from the uh, Unity store. Oh, definitely. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's me, your sister. Aren't you excited for the festival today? Won't hydrate, therefore digest. Okay, I'll do my hydration. Nah, I failed a kidney stone. <laughs> not yet, but I'll try for you. No, that wasn't a demand or a request. Do not do that. Stay hydrated. Aren't you excited for the festival today? I know you're a hotshot big city writer now. Just passing through a part of a book tour for your hotly anticipated novel. But it will be a great way to reconnect with your life performing small town roots. You should say hi to everyone at the pumpkin festival. They say that Greg from high school will be there. Remember Greg from high school? Extra! Thank you, ladies! I did, and I didn't even have to study for it. <laughs> That's stupid. No, Chad, you should not be eating minerals. You are not a goat. Was that really my sister? It's not like her to be awake during the day. Anyways, it's all coming back to me. Yes, this is my quaint hometown. Although for some reason it reminds me of Vancouver. Yes and no. It is normal for most people to pass very, very small kidney stones without noticing. But I don't remember doing so. Wait, you know what that reminds me of? My my sibling I told that I shared this room with. My sibling had to go to the doctors for a checkup for work, right? Because, you know, um, some jobs still require that you do like COVID things and, and checkups and everything. And my sibling, the doctor found out that they are passing irregular bowel movements. And I was like, holy fuck, loser! You wanna know why? It's because you be eating all them brisk all day, bro. Because you be drinking not nothing but soda. Because, because, because you be on the damn phone. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny to say. How would he find out? Find that out? It was through a physical. Was, I don't remember what happened exactly. Brisk is an addiction. I can't stop it. But to soda tastes good. But that's how they get you, chat. But anyways, I don't know whether they're going to pass the kidney stone soon. But let's just say that my sibling had to go to see an ultrasound. And I was like, holy shit, you're preggers. You should, like, tell this to one of your friends. Be like, I'm getting an ultrasound. And then say, it's also yours. 
Man, what would the doctor say after checking up Bobby? Probably that I have cavities again. Praggle! She's lighting on only gummy worms and coffee. That may be true. But I'm still a very healthy, normal human being. After today, I'm gonna go to Domino's. Wow, Avi poo shaming. Maybe I am. I used to be a big shot vampire fictional author, but a chance meeting over a plane reminded me of the importance of love and family. I've never been happier. Greg from high school was asking about you. Uh, thank you. I wish you the best. Don't talk to me until I've had my pumpkin coffee. You could be very happy with Greg from high school. Don't talk to me until I've had my pumpkin coffee. Yes, indeed. Many people are saying this. Bet those bowel movements resemble a worm right now. <laughs> They'd be like a warp. Pumpkins burst through soil like corpses squeezed from shallow graves, as if the earth itself were too choked with flesh for further entry, and the living were consigned to a narrowing circle with the legions of the dead, the numberless murdered of the history of the world. I get it already! Greg from high school! Jeez! One is Loteria stream. It could help you with your no sabo. <gasps> we should do it again. My shits could win beauty pageants. Shut up! Greg from high school is a weirdo. I bet he asked all these people. Wait, you know what? I think it'd be funnier if Greg from high school just like admitted to one person that they had a crush on me. And then everyone in town immediately knew after because Bethany is such a blabbermouth and you can't take her anywhere because she will s tell secrets for days. Hello, Greg from high school. This doesn't seem to be a romantic... Are your parents okay with us meeting together like this? I know we're both college peeps, but you know, you don't want to hear the, uh... Uh-oh. Run! I can win this fight! I can win this fight! Where's the door? Where's the door? Jet, I'll win! Jet! Nah! I'd win, because I'd get him stuck! He's too fat to fit this! Fuck yeah! Uh, what? You think you're good too good for Greg from high school too? Yes! He looked like someone who strangled his wife in a Tennessee Williams play! Look, I have a schedule here. What if you just told me what your horrible private death fantasies are and we can make them come true? Ha! Ah, we have the technology! I looked away for one second and suddenly the game is in the back rooms. I don't understand. The game takes you everywhere. It's so funny. Nice try! But this is just like the time when I was eight and my friend showed me a picture of S Club 7 and asked me which one I liked. And I had no strong opinions, so I just picked one at random. And then everyone else went, ew. That's, that's not really what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my fucking God, BB is just too relatable. She didn't want to be honest about her feelings. She just wanted approval from the rest of the girls. Wait, 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 wait. How does this one look? Look, it's the manic pixie dream girl. She'll make you a mixtape for when she's topping you apart. No! I don't want a mixtape. Actually, I kind of do want a mixtape made of me. And look, this board right there. She's a lesbian for sure. I'm glad that the girl is offering a pixie girl as an option. But what about this? A high-powered office romance. Bibi, I need you to work very late tonight. You're having dinner with a very important client. Me. Is that even legal? Yeah, you'd have to report that to HR. I don't know if I can deal with office romances. Although, I watched uh, Agresco and that shit was very, very cute. I wish, um... Agresco ended really interestingly. I totally forgot about it entirely. But when I watched it, I was like, wow. Media. No, it's from Club Penguin. <laughs> I'm not tired. I just took my nap. Imagine how funny it would be from now on if I was forced to take a three minute nap. Just so I can keep streaming. Welcome, Bon Venom! What does desire look like in a world of casual mass death? For obvious reasons, top retailers have begun asking the questions. Now it can be answered. Ragmaw Basking, in collaboration with the Consumer Survey Institute, is proud to announce the Dream Resort, a bleeding-edge romantic horror simulacrum designed to furnish you with behavioral demographic details on the love-death imaginaries of today's top youth subcultures. Special group rates available. Ask for Marcy. Wait, Marcy isn't... That's right. With the commercial failure of Marcy's world number two, I moved into the consultant work to clear the debt. That's where I ran into the spooks people. They too were consultants, in a way. 
Hi, so tired. I'm cutted. <laughs> Agretzko's ending was bad. I feel like I wasted my time with how they wrote it. They did have a really interesting premise talking about the work life in Japan. But I actually really liked the ending because I liked how the people that you wanted to win didn't win because the people that actually wanted to vote for those people were homeless and didn't have addresses, which was a little too real. But yeah, you're right. Some of the ending was a bit, a bit iffy, for sure. But I liked it just enough. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, but yes, uh, harassment in the workplace, bad. But Agresco was cute, so that sounded really bad when you put it like that. But I was there, admittedly, for the romance. And I got the hard truth about office life in Japan. <gasps> it's for you. Just say what you want. Can it really be that hard? Don't worry. It will all be over soon. Uh, what I want... What I want is... Cha-Cha the Tree Frog. What? It... It's the name of the frog-themed animal mascot for the Rainforest Cafe? No fucking way am I seeing this being referenced in a video game. Also, so fucking based though, BB. I love you. If you guys don't know who Cha-Cha the Rainforest Frog is, it's this. It's like, Avi, this. This is Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha is the Rainforest Frog in Rainforest Cafe. Please don't dox me. Um... Uh, I'm looking at, like, results. They're probably gonna talk to me. Um, Rainforest Cafe was a beloved franchise that you guys could visit. Unfortunately, a lot of locations are being closed. But still... What the fuck? The cha-cha slide! No, not the cha-cha slide! The tree frog! Never heard about this. You never heard about Rainforest Cafe? That's fair. I never was able to eat in there because it's so fucking overpriced. But I know for sure about cha-cha the tree frog but that's so funny all right i get it <laughs> frog blink redeem shut up it, uh that's kind of a deep cut do you think you maybe want the frog from the warner brothers cartoon instead i don't want anything i just think it's interesting it's an interesting design don't look at me fuck you show me your desires if you think they're so great uh I'm being consumed anyway, holy fuck! <laughs> My fantasy, is it coming true? Didn't dox you, but did dox the fact you play Mystic- Oh yeah, for sure. It's okay, I have that tab always open. And yes, I love Mystic Messenger. Um, I got a bucket hat from there before. I hate bucket hats. No, really? I'm the same way. I don't look good with bucket hats. You got sucked into the Rick and Morty portal. Uh, I haven't seen Rick and Morty. Fuck, I can't make the joke. Oh, God, Rick. Uh, is that my boyfriend? No, that's not a frog. Also, what gender is the fucking frog now that I think about it? I don't think it's a good idea for these guys to touch me, so I will not do that. I can't tell if they're chasing me or not. They're not, they're not. This story is one bad trip. This story is just... Interesting. I like the idea of hotel, uh, little, uh, BB just wandering around. Hooded figures watch each other in the corridors, scratch holes in the wallpaper where they can see and not be seen, leap out and drag themselves below to be tortured in a maze of secret poisons. This is the dream of the spook. I think I like my dream better. <gasps> there she is. So, this is your desire? You know. It's always bewildered me when people said that they liked Marcy's World 1. When it seems like such a put-on to me. So calculated. But what could I do? People told me what they liked, and I believed them. The gender of the frog is just whatever the furries wanted to be when they draw fan art. <laughs> I look like a hobo with a bucket hat? Real. I use buckets like regular people. Why would I wear it? Ah, you think you're so funny. So I kept doing it, but then people didn't want it anymore. And it turned out they didn't even know just what they wanted. The people I trusted to know, to tell me so that I know what I wanted to. And so I became a, a consultant to find out what people liked. What a funny backstory for this lady. 
Just so you know, this is a real violation of my employment contract. What's with the tower? Also, how you waste been to how how you waste been to Rainforest Cafe? I thought that must uh. Oh, how come I've never? How come you wasn't been to uh, Rainforest Cafe? I thought that was the most experienced kitty place. Um, it's expensive and overpriced, and I have a family of four. So imagine fourteen dollars for like a burger for one kid would be fourteen dollars for a burger for four kids. Fourteen times four being forty-eight dollars plus the two parents. Oh, sorry, one parent. This is how I look at work too. Hi, you love BB? I love BB so much. Everything we recorded went into the spook's memory. Survey results, sale receipts, interrogations, secrets, photographs, phone calls, final breaths, final wishes, quick maps, just rock, paper, scissors, your siblings. Oh my God, like who is going to eat out tonight? Just bring one kid. Not when you only have one parent. Ah! You're right though. You're right. That should have been the genius idea. We were all too close in age to leave at home. Although I remember the day that like my mom was like, Okay, you guys should take care of yourself while I'm off at work. And I was like, sweet! Time to forget to wash the spaghetti pot! And then that's when we saw spaghetti mold for the first time. And we saw the forbidden fuzzy cloud. I think that's so funny. It's actually $56.48- Wait, what? 48 times 4. Wait. What did I say? Wait. Wait. Yeah. Oh shit! I did my math so wrong. Oh my god. Four times fourteen is sixteen plus the four carries fifty. Holy shit! I used ChatGPT to do my math test. That's a joke. So-called math. How did I forget to do multiplications? That was so funny. Capture data bleeding and transformed into the night mind into something else. A glimpse into the desire of the age. The sex dreams of a bodiless serial torturer are the desire of the age? What else? She's so Evie. She How am I still Evie? Just like in a romantic movie. Sometimes the thing you're looking for was around you the whole time. To be told exactly who you are and what you want. Wouldn't you like to know for sure? Wait, wait a minute. Marcy, hold up. You don't have to go in there. I mean, I liked Marcy's world too. You did? I mean, I couldn't get the CD-ROM to play, but the Kathy Acker interview was good. BB. You can come in here if you want. You can know things about yourself that only the advertisers know. That's so fucking funny. Uh, I'll take my chances. I think she yapped so much at the props, they just let her pass. I wish that's how it worked. This is why we told you to take a 10 hour nap and let us do work. No, I'll never do that. Ha ha ha. Well, the privilege of the youth to never have to recognize yourself. But maybe you'll want someday to be told exactly what it is you wanted. You might find yourself trying to come back here in your dreams. Chat? Is this true? That was such a creepy line. I'm shivering. And then I woke up. The hotel had been abandoned, and the shoddy construction materials of the dream result were already collapsing back into the forest mulch. Wary of my travels through the country of desire, when I come back home, I decided to do the opposite. And spent the day playing video games instead. You won't last 10 seconds in this game, my lord. And that's the end of that chapter. We are expecting to yap here without the providing the letters. <laughs> no, Chad, you guys are too addicted. You won't even last 10. Uh oh. I'm so sad. I expected BB to have like a cool, like, bachelor game choice. But no, instead, I learned something horrible about it, about the fact that as a teen, I, I was a, as a young adult, I am ignorant to what I think I would want, which is the desire to know who I am. Would you guys last 10 seconds? I believe my fellow chatters would last 10 seconds. And that is the end of the game. That is the end of BB's Adventure Chat.
We played through all the anthology. We learned an amazing trip. And now we can end this week of the cute little retro horror game genre. We are done. It's better to know who you are, Avi. Nah, I'd win. But like, if you don't know who you are and there was a door that told you that we could tell you, would you take it? You did it! Good job, Bobby! Thank you! It's so jover. That was lame. How was that lame? You just don't get it. I, I would understand if you don't get it. That wasn't lame. This whole game was so pretty. It was like playing through a cute little museum. I know who I am. That's true. You have an identity you have to uphold. I think it's too late for me to take the door. No! Rexo! You're never too old! Even if you're 40, you're not that old. Even if you're 30, you're not that old. Even when you're 50... Okay, it might be a little bit too late. But you're not that, that old. Yeah, the do an essay... The do an essay for the end. <laughs> me? A video essay? I know you guys would want to watch it, but I think I would come across a lot of the uh, bad video essays examples because it would be my first one of explaining the plot and not add anything of my own uh thoughts to it tee -hee. Ah. wait too old to what now uh to enter the door to find the truth of who you are uh in the game <laughs> something silly that happened no i liked Sil silent hill okay hold on we finished everything chat the face and the heart we kind of did it backwards but that's okay and then bonus news. But I don't think we'll do bonus rooms anytime soon, Jet. I think that'll be just for me. And if you guys want to play this game, well, it's free. It's, it's a pay what you want, I believe. This was an amazing game. And I loved going through it. This really inspired me, like, unironically. I kind of want to have a game kind of like this, where it's a 3D, 2D form, and it's very wobbly, and the camera is very awesome. No bonus rooms! Guess you'll have to play the game yourself. This game so No! This game is awesome. I want your video essay on this. Well, that implies that I would understand this. No, I would just gush about how funny and cute the art is, and then that's it. I love this game. I like this game too. It's not much of a game as much as a little cute journey of a of a cute indie developer game developer. Hold on, let me go look up more stuff about it because I'm super interested. Oh my god, are you German? Uh, uh, strange coincidence. Why do you say that? What is it about me that screams German? Did you finish the game? I did. Welcome, chicken. What were you doing? Okay, so now now that uh we ended the game with that last survey thing, I have a couple few questions of my own. The bees. So true, I think. All right, I have a few questions of my own. All right, chat. You have to answer them honestly. Uh, poll. Have you passed a kidney stone? Yes and no. Don't want to answer will also be an option because if you guys think it's too weird, I understand. <laughs> you built a monolith. That's awesome. If yes, how many? Hey, 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 listen. First of all, this poll is anonymous. So not even I will be able to know who answered what. Second of all, um... That's private information. Third of all, I'd be so jealous of whoever passed it and passed like the most. I once again said, maybe. Well, the bigger ones that you know of. Wait, what do you mean maybe, Kaiden? You're all over here making fun of me for eating my gummy worms and chips. And here you are saying that you maybe did. My uncle did. He almost died? That could happen? How can you, how can you, how can you die from kidney stones? Why would you be jealous? Good question. I'm not too sure why. If yes, did you keep it? <laughs> yeah. People lose kidneys because they think stones have passed, but they never do, and they end up non-functioning. Blockage and infection together makes the stone act like an abscess, and people can become critically ill and can even die? Well... Well, chat, now we know that you guys should be drinking your water. It's so fucking funny that it's so bad that this was the photo they have in the uh, doctor website. Hold on. This guy. This guy is taking the shit of his life. I love that photo. Fuck, wrong one. Fuck. Name your kidney stones. <laughs> Sepsis. 
A kidney stone is like a sun. It was literally born from you. I've heard that past before, like that phrase, and it's so funny. Uh, holy shit, why don't we make a poll or prediction to find out with who the rock pissers are? Then just cancel the prediction at the- <gasps> You're right! You're right, chicken! That's true! Small kidney stones that aren't large enough to be noticed are very common, even in people that consume healthy- Uh-oh. New fear fucking unlocked, Kaiten. Okay. Can you- Can you pass a kidney stone? Even if you drink water? I use- Kidney stones with my slingshot. Ew! Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not getting the, uh... The, uh... Even if you drink water thing. Even. Yeah, I'm not getting anything on it. There it is. I got a Quora question. Yes, it's possible to develop even if you drink a lot of water. While staying hydrated is important and recommended to reduce the risk, there are other factors that can contribute to the development of kidney stones. They are formed with certain substances in the urine, such as calcium, oxalate, and uric acid become highly concentrated and crystallized to form stones. Drinking enough water helps dilute these substances in the urine and can help to reduce the risk of formation. formation. However, other factors such as genetics, diet, Certain medical conditions and medication can also play a role in forming a kidney stone. This is terrifying. Faking kidney stones by shoving pebbles up there. Yeah? You know, for men, they don't go through the uh, back door. They go through the front. Haha! -ha! Imagine it being genetic! Yeah, that's so fucking hilarious. BR bro gripping the toilet mat with his feet. Dude, whenever you get in that much pain in the restroom, you know it's so over. All right, so only one person said that they have passed a kidney stone. That is amazing. That is very good. That means my chat is staying hydrated. Um, even if you are drinking a sufficient amount of water, if you have high diets in certain substances that can contribute to a stone formation, such as oxalate rich foods or food high in sodium, or if you have medical conditions that pre pre predisposes you to kidney stones, you are still at risk. That's crazy. Do you guys want to know what oxalate rich food is? Green leafy vegetables, soy, almonds, potatoes, tea, rhubarb, cereal grains, and beets. So I guess you guys shouldn't be eating your greens then. But after this, it's my life mission to get one because no, 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 no. Just shoot up some scale remover to fix... What the fuck is a scale remover? Uh, remember, basically, all medical things have... This is what causes this, usually, TM. Yeah, the thing about the commercials where they're like, this will increase your blood pressure and also make you die or something like that. Like, the, the freaky disclaimer that's in there. I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, Jet. So, today is Wednesday, I believe, and we finished Anthology of the Killer. Um, I'm gonna go rest now a little bit uh, after this, but I just want you guys to know that Friday is gonna be Sonic Adventure 1. That's right. We are starting the Sonic 3D game, starting with that one, because I think it's so funny. I think that game would be really cool to start with. And, uh, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys what I did, actually, for, uh, for the occasion. I made a funny meme, but I don't know if it's funny enough. My, uh, mod hated it. Not the Sonic Saga. I can't wait. Wait, why do you hate it? Uh, why not start with Sonic 06? Because that's not the chronological order, Kaiten. So anyways, I made a meme about it. Laugh. You never even finished Frontiers! Okay, but Frontiers is so... Me, 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 me. I like it, but I don't love it enough to finish it. I'm like, ugh. I just... I'm too zoomer for Frontiers. Huh, what? Sonic Adventures 24 to my McDonald's job. <laughs> anyways, uh... Minus two? Yeah, I deserve it. So what do you guys think of this one? Died 2001, born 2002. Welcome back to Sega Dreamcast. Because, um, according to the commercials, um, according to the commercials, uh, the Sega Dreamcast is what hold it, uh, held, um, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And it did come out in the GameCube eventually, but, like, it was originally designed for the Dreamcast. That's on God. You barely did anything on it! I went far into the Knuckles level! What are you talking about? I went far into the Knuckles one! Frontiers has good controls, but it is a snooze fest. 
You also need to stream Monster Hunter Rise and Luigi's Mansion. Yes, but something very important is happening today, uh, this month, chat. I am going to go attend a Sonic Symphony concert. Uh, I will not disclose anything besides that, but I will go soon. So I thought a lot of the 3D music must probably... A lot of the music in concert probably is going to come from the 3D games as well. Um, girl, I'm sorry, Jax. I'm sorry, Jax. I just don't fuck with it. Girl, are you a Sega Dreamcast? Because no one likes you. I'm gonna find you at the concert. See you soon. I fucking wish we would throw hands while wearing really nice suit and ties. The Sonic addiction is something way more worrying than our addiction. <laughs> yeah, you think so? You think I would be able to flash you guys word on stream and you guys wouldn't twitch at the keyboard? Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the Sonic Sympathy, Sympathy, and I'm super fucking excited for a chat. I am so excited. I'm gonna bring my Avi plush, I'm gonna bring my Sonic plush, and I will, I will, I will, oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I, I can't wait. I, I only knew about this existing like two years ago, when a co-worker went to a Sonic Symphony concert, and I was like, that fucking exists? And I was so salty, I didn't know about it. Yeah, bug girl addiction is perfectly fine and healthy. Yeah, of course, everyone should have a bug girl addiction. Can you sneak a plush on stage? Just fucking throw it? No, because people are going to be playing instruments and stuff. There's an obby plush? Yeah, the one Fuzzy made for me. Um, it's only one exclusively. I'd have to talk to Becca more about the merch side of that to do a plush. That'd be crazy, like, manufacturing job, honestly. What? Oh, yeah, there's only one plushie in the world of Avi. It's the one Fuzzy made for me. But we would have to do, like, some hardcore, like, researching stuff on Becco's side. Uh, if we ever want to do a plushie. Because, like, manufacturing a custom plushie would be very hard. This is news to me. What? I'm gonna steal it. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. I'd buy 10. I'd love to start with, like, a keychain plush. I think those would be really cool to start with. But I don't know whether that would be harder or more easier. Uh, anyways, uh, back to this. Uh, I like this meme a lot because... This is just gonna be the release the release schedule of I'm gonna be playing Sonic 1 and 2 Adventures. Give it to Becca so she can send it to me. No! She already she she you guys it's too late to send you anything anymore. If it would if 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 I forgot it if I didn't forget about it when I went to Ofkai this year, I totally would have brought with me like some Mexican candy to give to Becco and then you. Unfortunately, she lives in the buttfuck of the northern of the of the of the Americas, and I live in the northern of Americas as well. But but America is too big, California is too big. I had to take a goddamn plane to go to the other side of California. Yeah, she was telling me that. Yeah, I was like, wait a fucking minute. The Avi cast isn't as good as the Dreamcast. How many Sonic games does the Avi cast have? <laughs> Are you calling me a dead console? Are you calling me the goddamn PS5? Yes, it was the watermelon thing. It would have been amazing, but I totally forgot about it. But that's okay. It happens. We don't know what things she would have added in that Mexican. No, I wouldn't have tainted it, dumbass. It would have been pure and beautiful. But it might melt when it's on the travel, so probably not. The Avicaz has no games. She has no game. <laughs> you guys fucking hate me. Notice how we're talking about the Obbycast instead of playing games on it. You guys suck ass. I hate all of you guys. <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. Anyway, so this is my meme. No, I wouldn't call you a PS5. That is too much of an insult, even as a joke. <laughs> oh my god. That reminds me of how my little brother still has a PS5, but the controllers broke because they're children. They're gonna drop the controllers, so that shit has, like, major drift problems immediately. And, uh, it, it basically is a Fall Guys, uh, player. It's so funny. Half-eaten candy. No, I would hold so much self-restraint. Like, so much self-restraint. Can't even run games. <laughs> oh, Alright, chat. So, this is the part of the stream where I say the game was amazing. It was great. I loved it. What? They got a PS5? What do they do with it? Just stare at it? They they use it for Fall Guys. Well, they did before the controller broke. Bro, you you ate Becco's snack after two hours of flight. Yeah, she let me. And I was so hungry, dude. I waited for Becco to arrive, but I accidentally waited past security, which was really stupid of me. And I'm really sad about that. Uh, 
she would have been licked off all the spice. <laughs> No, because I would have loved to have chicken enjoy the spicy part of that. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Never mind. I was gonna say some shit, but that was too. F what? <laughs> I was born when the Super Nintendo came out. What the fuck is a new Super Nintendo? What is, what is a Super Nintendo? PS Five has some exclusive content, not like the Wasp at least. <laughs> what are you trying to say, huh? You guys are choosing some fighting words today. Oh, that's the Super Nintendo. Oh, what do you mean? Come on, Avi. You think I was alive when fucking cartridges were a thing? I was alive for the VHS, but that's it. Father, how do I click the book? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, if you were to give me this thing, like, without, like, right before I Googled it, I wouldn't have known how to, like, Activate it. I didn't know you had to plug it in like that. That's actually a really cute way to strip to, to uh, display it. A Twitch streamer made every Super Nintendo, and then that's the end of the title. Uh, the SNES came out in 1990. Whoa, oh, 1991. You say? Oh, that's quite a year. Nintendo literally cannot shut the fuck up about their older systems that they make announcement on their Switch Online ROM ROMs uh, semi often. Yeah. And you think I, uh... You think I'm awake with those? I'm just like, When is Silk Song gonna come out, bro? Is that Silk Song? Me, 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 me. The SNES and N64 were consoles I have owned for as long as I can remember. That's... Insane. For real, though, at least you were playing games made before you were born. Exactly, now we're, now we're playing games. How the fuck do you... What games does this thing even have? Never, ever, at this point. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Silk Song. That's just a myth, chat. It's never coming out. You guys have to let it go. Based Oshi, fuck Nintendo. <laughs> Hold on, let me go see uh, Console Wars. Yeah, because this was the uh, Sega Genesis and the Nintendo Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, the Sega loved advertising itself as the cooler console, which I think was really funny. Oh, it had Capcom Street Fighter 2 for Super NES. And then they had Donkey Kong Country. Oh, I'm learning so much today, chat. Uh, Silk Song comes out on the same day Half Life 3 comes out. Wow, so exciting release dates. Silk Song, bros, you guys inspire me to never give up. <laughs> no, yeah, really. They really have hope for every single like Nintendo announcement just for nothing to happen. Hey, but at least uh, Metroid has a game coming out soon in their series. The one with uh, Zero Suit Samus and Samus. I don't know what they're called. I don't fucking know what they're called. Um, anyway, Chad, I think this is a good time to stream. A good time to end. This was really fun hanging out with all of you guys. Uh, reminder that the Nintendo offices used to have a Sonic plushie hang by a noose. What the fuck? During the SNES versus Genesis day. This is news to me. I'm going to Google this immediately. Holy fuck! That's real? What? What sign is he holding? Product name. Kid Kirby. DK something. Mario 64. PW 64. What the hell? The console wars were big. I mean, I know, but Jesus Christ. Go Eep. But, but, but Sonic is fucking dead. Forest Evolution. What the hell is that? Um, no, don't go. What the? This was on CNN? God damn. And then they got the got milk thing. Do you guys remember that thing? Told you. The console wars were big. Nintendo's got that dog in them. No, don't go. Anyway, chat, who wants to do some words on stream when she's not like, shut up. You guys are not going to do that other channel words on stream. You guys are so funny. Uh, base Nintendo. What the hell? Avi, back in the day, they made commercials where they, they would go onto the other company's parking lot and talk shit. Sonic did that with Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Wait, the sign says we'll run for food. This is so fucked up. Fucking companies nowadays could never, ever do that shit. Yeah, the got milk thing was a weird government psyop. That was crazy. I was alive for that. 
I am so shocked. Now, companies don't have the balls to even curse on their commercials or do some cool shit with that anymore, dude. Oh my, bare shoulder obvious. It is bare shoulder obvious. Do you like it? Well, who's hungry? I'm gonna go get some pizza after this. And no, I am not sharing with my family. Who do you think I am? A goddamn uh, Mother Teresa? Anyways, uh, the ads I'm going to snooze right now, we are going to go ahead and raid into someone. Um, keep the stream on so I can grind my Nightbot stats. Come on. What do you mean? I had so much to say today. And if you can't catch up... McClanky Marks just cheered 10 bits. McClanky, thank you. McClanky. reminds me that in DKC2, Sonic shoes are near a trash can with a sign saying, no hope. Also, Kid Kirby was a game that was going to be made by Rockstar Games. Really? I didn't know that at all, chat. That's crazy. Um, what was I going to say? I only, I've only had bad soup. No, I'm so sorry, ladies. I'll give you one piece of slice then. Wink. There you go. Free wink for you, Biku. Uh, Madre Teresa Wasp. Pizza? Not just gummy worms and hot chips? I'm so proud of you, Abby. I know, I'm moving up in the world and developing a taste for something actually edible. It's because my brother came home last night with, um, food that their co-worker gave them. It was, um, a pizza of Domino's. And, uh, my co- my, my, my sibling gave me, a, a pizza slice that was jalapeno. And I was like, you know what? This shit is good. I should live again and eat real food. Thank you, Abby. Of course! Thank you guys all for tuning in and coming in. Being like, wow, this wasp is pretty quench. And then staying around anyways. Can you do a flip? No, I don't want to. I will vomit out the rest of my food if I do so. Uh, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and raid into... This is a hard choice. No one really raids on a Wednesday. I say that, but I have sub... I want pizza. It's so over. Never eat veggie steamers. Keep eating gummies. No kidney stones for you. <laughs> Brothers in the wage cage. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys. My sibling has a job now. I'm so excited and happy for them, dude. I was telling you guys how my sibling was kind of a deadbeat. Uh, like, uh, no, no paycheck. And not helping with the bills at all after they graduated. But now, janitor job. Let's fucking go. And guess what? It pays a dollar more than not my job. So that's pretty swag. Mods, don't get food. Get back in the basement. <laughs> I've come here all for that extra cringe she has. <laughs> we should raid into Kelby uh, now. He's never been able to stream this late before unless he's going to bed. He's probably miserable. <gasps> Wait, shit. Four days until new Boog model, huh? Um, I won't be around. For Wait, four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fuck, it's on a Sunday. Uh... Oh. Hello, Neon. I'm so sorry to for time chat. We're going to raid into Kelby. I know. I know, I know you asked to be raiding into Book, but there will always be time to raid her soon. And we will raid her soon. Very soon. It'll be fucking great, chat. You're gonna love it. Anyways, um, Kelby is doing a donut. Uh, subathon. Uh, I can't stay up a lot late enough to for, uh, Back over to stream. Well, um, not like it's illegal. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Male W? Yeah, male W for real for my sibling. I was born to inherit the stars. Basement can't hold me. Avi was inspirational. My life won't be that bad. Get jobs. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna read it to Kelby. Uh, what else? Yeah, Sunday for Ancestral, and I am very normal. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Anyways, um, we're waiting to the Kelpsters. Still 30 hours into their, th uh, subathon, by the way. Delay for another two hours. I can't, dude. I, I had to take a three-minute nap today for stream. You think I'll be able to be awake for two hours more? The game made me sleepy because I had to read to you guys. Uh, and because I had so much fun that I went back to being exhausted. But it's great. Anyways. Yeah, Kelby hit 1,000. I was there. It was insane. It was like right before my stream, I believe, when uh, Kelby ate a hot uh, ghost pepper. So we'll do a, a wellness check for uh, uh, Belby. Anyways, a lot of people are doing uh, subathons today, which is great. Anyways, so we're going to go right into Kelby MG. Uh, w for my sibling for working a job. Uh, my sibling said that they will pay me back for all I've done. And I'm like, no, dude, you just gotta pay the rent. And that'll make me happy. Make my rent lower so I can afford to go to the doctors again. <laughs> but don't worry about that. 
So, bye bye, ant girl. I'm not an ant girl, but thank you. Oh fuck, I pressed I uh, pressed the wrong button. Raid. Raid Kelby MG. So that I can go check if I have to pass a kidney stone or have any funny uh, bowel movements. Siblings should give me some money. No, no, not you guys. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and raid. See you guys Friday for Sonic Adventure 1. I hope you get lots of fun. Get some well rest chat, especially for you Euro pros. I know it's 10 p.m., but don't be babies about it. Or else you'll be like me, sleep deprived and long. Shoo, 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 shoo. Anyways, that's what those ants tennis are for. Oh, you got me so good. I love that. Thank you. Okay, bye, Abby. You'll need insurance. I do need insurance. Ha 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 ha. See ya! Yeah, don't do it anyways, counts. Otherwise, that thing's gonna get into triple digits real fast. Raid message! We'll call it the subathon of the killer. We are funding for this mass murderer. Boss raid also works too. Whatever you like best. Have a good night, everyone. See you all Friday for Sonic! I'm excited. See you guys soon. I love you all. Thank you for funding this really cool adventure together. Mwah! Oh, the music. I'm gonna get some pizza.